see if YouTube starts. I, I Sp Sparta give me the professional streamer thing. I can't really help it that, that there's something wrong with my rig since yesterday that needs fixing, dude. I don't see how that makes me unprofessional that I'm trying to fix it so the game runs more. <laughs> That's not really my fault, is it? <laughs> uh, get that back, get that back. There we go. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, I, I obviously, uh, I, I have done that once before and it crashed my PC. As soon as I started downloading, that was like, when it actually goes in, this is going to... Yeah, and it, and it did. You can't obviously update the driver to your graphics card whilst it's streaming. It's it's tra it's like trying to upgrade your, upgrade your driver whilst you're playing a game. It's not going to work, is it? You know, that was kind of dumb of me to do, really. But I, need, I needed to do it. So, uh, to be fair, I needed the game to run a bit better. I haven't done a great deal else. I've, I've only checked the, the, all the game stuff is turned off as best as I can in the Windows settings. Uh, I don't really think I can do much more. I've done the graphics card update. We'll just see how we go. viewership for another couple of hours. Uh, is the YouTube stream down? Seems okay. I hope it's not because this, this is the sort of thing that will tip me over the edge and I'll go full falling fucking down. Right. <laughs> that's helping Shadow. Yeah, that's really helping. There we go. We're back in the game. Let's see if it's any smoother. It actually feels better. I know I've only just got in, but it, it feels better. Red line, we can't agree on that, no. My accountant says otherwise. Right, let's see. It does feel smoother. I think the graphics card update might have been... I don't know what was in the NVIDIA update, but maybe the, the NVIDIA update was needed with the new Windows update. I don't know, but it certainly seems better. Sapien, thank you very much for the support. Dude, Sapien Haggis, thank you. Cheers for the bits. Stream looks better for me on YouTube, just the chat is dead. Well, it will be, because nobody's there yet. You know, I don't know what the viewership is on YouTube, but... I should think it's about 2,000 less people than it was four minutes ago. The game bar was already turned off though, Thumpy. Although, it's, a, it's called Game Mode. I couldn't find the game bar. Uh, there's, a, there's Windows Game Mode, which is turned off. And I think Game Mode includes the game bar in it, right? But that was already off, so... What, 2014 red line? <laughs> oh, wait, 2015 to some. Fair, you're going to have to help me a bit more than the word nope. Buddy Funk, I was just thinking exactly the same thing. I want to take you to a game bar. Game bar, game bar. <laughs> Gems, I uh, I crashed because I did an update to, to uh, uh, my graphics card. I am sharp, yeah. It definitely feels better. And you never know, these things are a bit weird sometimes. It might have just been closing the game down that helped, but sometimes closing the game and restarting can cause frame, frame issues to go away, but it seems a lot better. I'm not getting, like, 80 frames for no reason. And again, it's not just the fact that the frames go lower, it's that it gets all jaggedy and, un and doesn't stay smooth. 
Right, so where were we? We've got a carbine with a couple of bullets. We've only got three bullets, well, two bullets now. Carbine with a couple of bullets. We only need a gas mask. A gas mask and we've done the full NBC kit, which would be very, very cool. Are Toby's spools still safe? Hmm. I just hit the Windows key and type game bar and it's there. Game mode is something else. I'll try I, I'll try and do it, Chef. I, I'll have to log out of the game, I think, to do it now. I don't really want to, but at least I think I will. Okay, let me just have a look. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. The you the you the you are. The viewership is still recovering anyway, so we might as well have a look. Press Windows key. Game bar. All the game bar settings. Yeah. Now it just says game bar. All allow your controller to open game bar. No. Nope. Help with Xbox game bar. Doesn't say anything. There's nothing in there for me. Where is the Christmas music? Oh my god, I read it before I, re I, I saw who said it. Hi Carp Talk, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. All the platonics. Nothing in game bar. All shortcuts. To edit game bar related shortcuts, press Windows logo key plus G. There's nothing in the, the game bar at all that's sort of like turning it off or on. Change default graphic settings. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm under the game bar. There's nothing to turn on or off. Help with Xbox game bar. This terminal lance, thank you, dude. Guys, I'll only be a second. Uh... I'm in gaming and then game bar under yeah I don't see any advanced options for it like I've just had a, just typed in how to turn it off Windows 11 it says I go to game bar and click advanced options and then turn it off there is no advanced options settings, whatever it said. Optimizations for windowed games, that's off. Yeah. I think it's off. Everything's off. I'm looking at it. Everything's off. So game mode is turned off. Captures, there's nothing that's set on to capture that I don't want. And in game bar, there's nothing to turn off. So I'm just leaving it, it's done. There's nothing else I could do. Fuck that, I'm not looking at it anymore, I'm bored of it. I'm going to play the game because it was running fine anyway. Uh, Ghostbound. 
Dude, hope you're good. I've got quite a lot of family in Hinkley, which is near Leicester. Right, we're in. Let's go. Petition to add one more zombie to the waiting screen. That wouldn't be possible. If, if, uh, how that, that's obviously done by Neuro, my mod, who made the music as well for it. Uh, he went into the game and dragged the zombies into that, that room. And then recorded it, you know, so that's just a recording of the zombies in that room. Which is kind of cool, isn't it, you know? It's simple enough to do. I, I, the bit with the uh, superimposing the, the Running Man game on the monitor is a, is a bit more tricky for me. But, uh, yeah, the actual getting the zombies in there is fairly simple. But if it was re-recorded now, we'd lose the Dean Hall zombie. And I think that's kind of, like, cool because that zombie's obviously not in the game anymore. So I think it's pretty cool to have the Dean Hall zombie on the changing server screen. Vinny, I didn't see what you said, but if you want to drop me a Twitch whisper with what, what was in it, dude. If you don't mind dropping me a Twitch whisper, I can pick it up later. How long is the clip? I can't remember, dude. The stream crashed, Jambon. Yeah, I did a graphics card update because my game wasn't running very well and it's running much better now. See, they're relatively close together and none of them have aggroed. That, that is very cool. Suppressed pistols are so much better. I'm, I'm really pleased with that change. Rather annoyingly, the very first shot that I made didn't, didn't seem to work very well. And I was a little bit like, oh, it's not made any difference. But it really has made a huge difference. Thanks, Vinny. I'll, I'll check it out, dude. It, it certainly won't do me any harm. Thanks, dude. Pristine hip pack. Extra, extra fluorescent pink. Ooh, sardines. Sardine? Pipsy. Oh, another jam. I really need a cleaning kit. This pistol suppressor is not long for this world, as is the pistol itself. A few more 308 would be nice. There's a couple, I suppose. do with cooking this food I don't really need to eat it but if I don't if I don't cook it and uh, start eating it I'm gonna run out of space I'm gonna need the food gone because when I find the gas mask even the smallest gas mask is nine slots so I, I think we might cook the food up here and just get get start eating it getting it out of the way you know
Yeah, since they've added those hip packs, the party packs. They're meant to be rare, those party packs, or rarer. But that's all there ever is there. You normally find two or three of them in, in them. And then, because they've added those, you seem to never get the, the weapon cleaning kits anymore. Shouldn't I, I've not been struggling to get cleaning kits on this particular patch so far, though. Today may be different, but yesterday at one point I had four on the same character. Hot lips, yeah, the, the stream crashed brief, briefly. I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to do a Windows update. Or not a Windows update, an NVIDIA graphics card update. And you can't update your graphics card driver whilst your graphics card is streaming. It doesn't work, so it crashed the stream. Don't need any of that stuff. Mysterio, I'm still streaming in the exact same quality settings as before. Uh, nothing's changed on the on the, the graphics. It might be uh, where I'm running through and the forest I'm running through, but it's the same settings. Nothing's changed. But because I've had to start streaming again, it, you might want to just double check the cog and make sure you're set the same as you were before. Those fanny packs are visible from a mile off. Yeah, they, they scream, let's party, dude. Why don't you keep the food in the pot? Because keeping the food in the pot is uh, not so smart. I, like, keeping things in the pot that you don't want to get ruined is, is kind of a better idea. Watch that land at the place we're about to go to. How's Toby? He's doing all right. That red line was just asking me whether his nuts were safe, and I don't think I answered. We're not sure yet. I don't think Toby's nuts are safe. I think his nuts might be getting removed, but we'll see. He's starting to become a bit of a pain in the bum with other dogs, like male dogs. If he if he bumps into other male dogs, he's starting to... Not really aggressive, but he's starting to become a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh, we'll be led by the vets, though, and see how it goes. We're not, we're not made any final decisions yet. This one's taking longer. That's the one that was there. The ones that were in the smoker cook quicker. So what do I need to protect, really? What is vital? I, I guess a handful of bullets is not such a bad thing. And then we'll put them in there. You asked for fornication, it was the best morning I've ever had. Gee, well, there we are. Toby, we're, uh, Toby is a dog, right? It's okay. Uh, we're, not, we're not castrating any people. Not yet. Well, whatever the trouble you're getting, Mysterio, it's you that's missing the settings. Nobody else seems to be missing them, dude. So I, hopefully it refreshes. I don't know why you've not got it, but other people have. So there's nothing we can do, really. Hopefully it gets sorted. You thought I was talking about Tope? Yeah, Tope's get. I'm going to castrate Tope. <laughs> that would seem cruel. Oh god, it is annoying. Right, we're yellow now. That'll do.
if I kept the food in the cooking pot, it would be better in terms of being hot for now. But it's, a, it's just a bit of a ball ache. Alex, well thanks for coming in, I appreciate it dude. On the subject of thanks, C Pask, thank you for the resub, Fryholio, Lewis, Kyle, Proud Viking, thank you for the resubs and the new sub. You're very, very kind guys, thank you. Low key cheers for the resub and sapient haggis, thanks for the bits, dude. What kind of dog is he? He's a Welsh Springer Spaniel. I wish my girl, my girl looked at me the way Paul looks at gun cleaning kiss. <laughs> That's true. Pay for money. I don't understand what you're saying about if you were a dog. What's my plan with smoke grenades? To die with them having never used them, Jay Murder. That's my plan. You should never have V-Sync on, Apollo. You should never have a V-Sync on. G-Sync is a very good thing. V-Sync is not needed. G-Sync works with your graphics card and it syncs your, your refresh rate to your in-game FPS and it gives you a smoother playing experience. V-Sync does none of those things and it's a very bad thing. Don't use V-Sync. It can introduce a little bit of uh, like latency as well. It's, it's not something you should use really. Once I hesitated and it was worth it. It's the second I aimed, she moved. Pixie, uh, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you very much. We find a gas mask here, I can just go. How cool would that be? We find a gas mask, I can just about turn and go. That I'd love to do that. vitamins if I get sick. That gives me a few more vitamins if I get sick. I really hate that when you've got nice looking vitamins and then you drab some more on and it messes up the bottle. That really really fucks me off. This pistol suppressor has really not got long left. Gonna do the thing? Yeah, he did the thing. <laughs> Only a 10 round C mag, but might as well fill it. How are the new tree hitboxes? I've not had any uh, firefights where people have been in trees. Things like tree hitboxes is the sort of thing that could take you weeks and weeks and weeks to really get anything more than a gut feeling of evidence unless you do something like Wobo where he will log in and rigorously test specifically that thing you know like people like me that just play the game I, I, it could take me weeks to get enough experience to have any kind of clue and even then it would only be anecdotal you know 
people like Wobo do the testing on stuff like that, you know. Which is very cool. Take the patrol pants. Yeah, I suppose I could do. I don't really want to go back, if I'm honest. It would be better... Oh shit, I just put the pistol away. It would be better stamina-wise. I know I didn't take the FNX, but I might as well take the bullets just in case. We could end up with a UMP or something. It would be really nice to see a convoy over here. I've not seen the convoy here for ages. And I've not seen the convoy here today either. They could be heading our way. Let's not wait to find out. So what would we really like from one of these? I'd like a weapon cleaning kit. Possibly some more 308. Maybe a blaze if they still spawn here. Haven't been around much. I have really been enjoying the tea game since wipe what's the goal today. Uh, Fox River, thanks for coming in, dude. Uh, I'm trying to find NBC loot to go to a gas zone. Uh, is what I'm doing. I only need a gas mask and then I'm set. Fox River, thank you very much. Pixie Dust, thank you for the gifted sub once again. Double check there's no loot here where the convoy might have been. No. Gun cleaning kit. I missed a gun cleaning kit, didn't I? Okay. Those shots seem to be getting nearer. Oh, well spotted. Oh, you cow. Fuck did she hit me there? Abby AK. shots seem to be getting closer don't they I don't really want to get I don't want to get stuck here I want to fix the uh, fix the suppressor on my Glock but I don't really want to do it yet just take ourselves away into the trees now the person shooting could be coming here if I was the patient kind of player, what I would do is sit in a tree, wait five minutes, and then overwatch and possibly see them, you know? You can shoot them and blow them up, but they don't really do damage to players anymore, Bartlett. They used to do. Can I pet Toby for me for, for you after the stream? I, I'll pet Toby after the stream, but I won't remember who it's for. <laughs> Does that sound good? <laughs> They might carry a gas mask, I guess, yeah. Where's the best place to find NBCs? All medical spawns, all fire stations. And then Tissy military base is the best military base to find it. You can find it in some of the higher tier military bases, but Tissy's the best one. You get gas masks in quite a lot of places. Like where we're going up here, we could get a gas mask as well. So 
kind of hopeful we might get one. I think we might probably get a plate carrier as well. I'm not waiting for the guy to show up here. I'm just going to skedaddle on. Howdy, howdy. Ahoy, hoy. Uh, Aaron, thank you very much for the support. On console, I got a DMR at that convoy yesterday. Very nice. I've had three convoys this... Sorry, three convoys. I've had three DMRs this week and I've not got a kill with any of them. Oh, two of them was on the same character. So I had two wow, on the same character. And then I had one on the... Uh, I had one yesterday that died with no scope and no mag, so it wasn't so usable. Am I liking the 124 update? It's fine, dude. It, it's playing fine. It, it's not dramatically different to 123, but the changes are positive. My favourite change, without a doubt, is suppressors and zombies. I know I keep saying it, but people are asking, so I'm saying, you know, like... The zombies don't aggro as easily when you're using a suppressor in military bases. And it's a big, big improvement. Really big. Now, I wanted to take one of those before. And I didn't because the shots were nearby. Now I feel like we're a little bit safer with any luck. I think I can take that one. Yeah, they. Uh, it really is nicer. It like being able to actually use a suppressed pistol in a milli base. It it feels really good. No shooting grenades and watch out for landmines. God, that was annoying. SAS Frank Spencer with a bump back. <laughs> Miss Magoo, thank you for the 12 months. Do double click hand to inventory fix. I didn't know I don't know what the double click hand to inventory fix is. It's nice being able to loot loot a backpack in your hands more quickly if if you mean things like that, you know, like if you've got a bag in your hands and you want to put the stuff in your inventory double clicking it, that's much better. But that's still not as important to me in the game as uh, being able to actually actually use a suppressor in a military base. Faster use of the UI, faster looting is a convenience thing, which is very good. And it could potentially save your life if you're trying to loot quickly under fire or you've killed someone you want to drag their stuff or whatever. That's good. But, uh, like, the suppressor in a, in a military base being useful for Zeds seems much more useful much more often. I did not take the FNX before because it was not in the best of conditions, but I'm going to take the a ACP rounds that I find in the hope that we can find I don't really want a UMP, but if I could change this Glock for an FNX in good condition with a mag, that would be okay. Not going to kill the zombie yet, actually. month keep running be proof thank you cheers for the two month inning thanks for the continued support dude thank you someone's done been here they may still be here we need to go up to the top end and see if we can find where they are
With being Brack on vanilla bring you into some nostalgia? Not really. I've played quite a lot of vanilla in the last year. I really like vanilla, right? I really do. But to be honest, if I'm playing on, say, Zero Chernerus or Day One Chernerus, there's a few tweaks here and there, but it plays so similar to vanilla, it doesn't feel hugely different. And then obviously you've got Spaggy servers that are vanilla, you know, so... I, I feel fairly uh, used to vanilla. The only thing that makes it feel slightly different at the moment is that a lot of the servers that are like day one and uh, zero are running winter churnerus rather than regular, so I guess that feels different. The zombies me sort of mooching around here. Make maybe the the guy that killed that zombie down to the south of the base, looted here first and then uh, went there after. And so the zombies have despawned from here, or maybe he's not made it here yet. The door. Even if I think the player has been and gone, I'm still going to have to loot all of this because you can get multiple gas masks here. I, I need to look for the gas masks. Actually running with no gun out. Are you kidding? <laughs> Must have the stamina to go up there, right? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You're right, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to kill you. I've just trapped a wolf in. You're right, dude. You don't, by any chance, have a gas mask, do you? Hello? The no mic thing is kind of annoying.
chest. Versus Mosin. Got a lot of zombies aggroed on him. Still going up the hill. So somebody's lost that fight now, I think. The Mosin player has backed up the hill. He definitely came up this way. We heard him shoot one more Zed, but that may have been his last Zed. He might be going back. And then he killed me. What a great shot. I, di I didn't see him in the tree until he killed me. That's a good shot. Yeah, he's on the, he was in the tree. I didn't spot him. I, I don't... What was my health at? What was my health at? I'm surprised I died unless Love he hit me in the head. What's your choice, DSV or DMR? That sucks. There we go. There'll be people that say it's calmer for me shooting the other guy, I suppose. But there was a big group there. I suppose there was there was other players there, and maybe not a big group. But I tried to be friendly with the other dude. He was either talking to his friend or he didn't have a mic. Either way, he deserved it. I don't really mind killing him, but. I'm a little bit annoyed I didn't spot the guy, and I feel a little unlucky as well because I was the unknown in that party, you know. But GG, that was a great shot in his part. I think I was pretty full health, so to be uh, shot... I think that was a Mosin, so to be shot dead, it had to be a headshot. Yeah, I had a, I had a stab vest on Spout, which does protect you. So frustrating though, you know, like we're, we're like three hours or so in. That about summarises my experience of uh, of me playing Jonas the last couple of days. I should have seen him, I guess, but it's it's sometimes easier. It's it's sometimes a lot hard. Well, it's always a lot harder to spot a static target. I just I just didn't see him. I don't want to hop on Alteria, dude. There'll be plenty of time for Alteria, probably on Sunday or something, you know? Like, it, right now, the uh, experimental servers have got players in, but by Sunday, they probably won't, so I'd rather take my opportunity to play the new patch. So I'm only suiciding because I've just done a Berezino spawn, and I don't want to do another one. I, I, I'll, I'm not going to take another Berezino spawn. It's dull. This is, this is much, much better. I just don't want to do another spawn the same. It's really dull to do the same Berezino spawn, two streams, two two lives running. sucks. I have to hold your hands up and say great shot, because he might have only hit me in the chest, I don't know. You might have seen it on my body as I fell, but whatever it was, it was it was a good shot to kill me, you know. I was still running, but it's annoying. I'd seen him just as, just as he killed me, you know. I, I'd only just seen him like half a second before. If I see him slightly sooner, maybe I can start peppering bullets. He misses the shot. I don't know, but if he, if he makes a shot while you're running side on at that range, you've got to say well done, you know.
might as well take that just for the in inventrix spots, mightn't we? God, that looks bright, doesn't it? Fuck me. Oh well. Another day, another, another, another pointless life ended. That's the game, though, right? I, 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 that, that's the thing that's somewhat ironic about this week. I've had a terrible run in the game most of the week. I haven't played brilliantly well, but I've also had a terrible run. Uh, but that aside, I've actually enjoyed every day. I've enjoyed the game. I've enjoyed certain moments enough to make me want to come back. You know, like yesterday we had a character that was nearly dying of starvation and bringing him back from the brink. That was really cool. Like only to die because I shot somebody. I shot the driver of a car and then his buddy jumped out and killed me. You know, but. I've enjoyed the day, I've enjoyed the game every day, even though I've not had a very good run. Connor, I didn't go full running into it, I was trying to come up the side of him, uh, and that was all great and, until I uh, didn't have the eyes that I, I should have had, you know. Not unhappy with my movement. I just should have seen the guy in the tree. We knew he was there. He didn't know I was coming. He didn't know I was coming. I guess he was waiting up there in case people were chasing him up. He didn't know what... Like, if he just won a fight, he doesn't know if there's a friend or whatever. So he'd been looking out for another player. But I'm not unhappy with what I did there. I was coming along the side. I knew that the player that had won the fight had gone up to the edge of the map. I tried to come up parallel to him and I just missed him when I had my chance, you know. I think my positioning was fine. I just didn't spot him. Yeah, we had the chicken fuckers. You had to pay 32 cents for parking. Blimey. It's a bit miserly, doesn't it? I don't think I died because of impatience there, thank you. When there's a fight going on like that, what you're really trying to do is to get on the side of it and be the one that finishes off the last guy alive, you know? And, and I was... I think my positioning was good. I didn't go straight for the shots. So I stayed on the edge. I think I did okay. He went a bit further up up the hill than I thought he would, but I don't, I don't have any regrets about that. I got hit by a good shot. GG. What is my second favourite game? Probably on PC it would be a very close run thing between Tarkov and PUBG. I might say PUBG just because I had more fun on it. But if I had to play one or the other tomorrow I'd choose Tarkov in a heartbeat. Any, uh, it can be hard to take a death in Daisy, but I guess with me, I played so much. I'm, I, I'm so used to it. It, I don't mind dying. I, when, I, when I die and I make a really bad mistake, I get really annoyed at myself. But I, I don't, and I make a lot of mistakes. But you know, when, when I make a mistake, I'm not too worried if if I don't. Uh, I don't think I'm likely to play Zomboid, sorry. I, I know it's a really cool game and people love it. I, I just don't know if I really want to stream it. Um, I think I'm a bit of... Like, Daisy's not got the best graphics or anything, but the top-down stuff, I, I don't know if it's a game I want to stream, really, but maybe I'll change my mind. It does look like a really fun game. It really does, but... I'm not... A, I don't go a bundle on top-down games and haven't done for so long, you know, like... I, I, I don't remember the last Top Gun game I enjoyed, other than maybe Cannon Fodder, you know? It's going back quite a long time.
we're ready for a... Uh, We're ready for a plate carrier already, that's good. First GTA, god that's a while ago, yeah that was good as well, I did like that. I think the first GTA is the one I enjoyed and played the most. To be fair, I haven't played so many of the others since. Pristine, how, what condition was mine? Christine, blimey. 30 slots, that's also 30, but it's not bright white, so that's a no-brainer. Cheers. <gasps> My kind of gut instinct was that that was about the last zombie, but maybe that was risky, I don't know. Seems okay. I remember there being a game called Micro Machines that was top down that I had loads of fun on. That was a good game. That was really good. You could play like battle your mate and you had to you won by getting them off the screen. That was kind of good. Blanket, striker, chopper down and mod dog. Thank you very much all of you guys for the resubs. Yeah, you're racing on a snooker table and stuff. I remember there being like a kitchen table and shit, you know, that was a kind of a, a funky game there, that was good. This is the one that you, this is the helmet I had earlier, the BDU helmet, so it was, it, you can get a military helmet that matches that, full on BDSM. thought for a minute that was an EMP mag. I was about to get all excited. I'm not really too worried about that death. I I, I am uh, I, I certainly wish I hadn't died. But I don't know, I'm still I've still been enjoying the patch so much. I've been enjoying playing just regular Chernerus that I've just swallowed it fairly well, you know. And if I die again in another hour I might not take that one quite so well. Probably use that as a melee weapon for now. I wonder if I maybe should just shoot these. I could shoot them with the pistol. I think I'm going to aggro them all over this way and then just shoot them in this ghillie compound.
There's the zombie with the bag. There we are. That's a bit unlucky with that, really. You'd expect a bit more loot than just four mosin rounds. Oh, there's a can of tuna. That's good. We're about to start starving to death and dying of thirst as well. Oh, cleaning kit as well. Oh, this the, the loot seems pretty good, doesn't it, really? That might be a good little indication that no one's been here for a while, you know. That could be kind of good. Eat the tuna. We've got the sardines as well. There's a sign up for Xbox Beta for Aim Labs, is there? That's cool, dude. Interesting. So they're going to do Aim Labs for Xbox then? Celebratory tuna, yeah, defo. Blanket, thanks for the three months, dude. Probably going to be a little bit bit of a while before I get to a well, so I'm going to eat this tuna as a means to uh, have a bit more hydration as well as hunger to go with that tuna I've just eaten. <sighs> body dismemberment. I guess you've got cutting up the body, Allied. I, I think dismembering is probably something that... I don't know, it might be cool to use a leg as a melee weapon, maybe. It could be interesting. <laughs> I haven't noticed a change in the sound, Garrett, but you might be right. With rune holds of Valhalla, you could chop someone's arm off and hit them with it. <laughs> what was that game, uh, Dead Rising? You could do all sorts in that with different things, couldn't you? That was quite fun for a short while. I think it was Dead Rising, the zombie one in the, the supermarket, where like almost everything in the game was a melee weapon. That was pretty fun for a short bit. Dr. Four Eyes, thank you for the bits. Uh, a few months break and now another new patch. Dude, yeah, it's good to good that they're still doing new patches. I'm really interested to see what's going to be announced. I, I don't know when it's going to be. I, I get the feeling it's going to be a while off yet. But... Excuse me. HESCO, I think it's called. Not HECOS, it's HESCO. H-E-S-C-O. Esco barriers, yes, I did know that. Ooh. We're doing okay, all things considered. I'd like a stab vest, but considering how little we've played so far since that death, we are doing fairly solidly well. Well, I I uh, I read Blood Meridian last there, year and tried to start reading uh, the Stand, and I was enjoying the Stand. It got a bit boring for a short while, and then I just stopped reading again, and I've not picked it back up since. So, I, I'm I'm not really uh, I've got the Road, which I've not read yet. That's on my my list, but I'm I'm not really uh, apocalypse orientated reading wise. To be honest, I've not done a great deal of reading since I was a lot younger, but. I, didn't, I enjoyed getting into a routine and picking up a book every night. It was helping me a little bit, but I've got out of that routine again. Is the, is the day one server still winter? I think so, Pitman, yeah. I think uh, Cormac McCarthy's biggest strength, someone there saying they didn't like the writing style of Blood Meridian, I did. 
Uh, I really like the dialogue, though. There's some really cool lines in in the film, in the film, in the book. I, I think he did dialogue really, really well. I'm no expert at, at analysing authors or anything, but sometimes the descriptions and like things would seem to be done really, really quickly and like like arriving into a town or whatever, like it was leaving a lot to your imagination rather than the description of what, what they're coming in towards and stuff. But the dialogue between the characters is, was the main strength and what I really enjoyed in that. Uh, Dr. Four Eyes, uh, a few months break now, another patch. Thanks for the support, dude. Uh, Paintera, thanks for the bits. Is it worth playing Experimental Chernerus? Uh, it's not, like, hugely different than 123, but it's a good idea to try and play it. You might find a bug. You might be able to help the bug devs out and fill, it, fill out the bug tracker and help the development of the game, dude. That's a good thing. Uh, aside from helping the development of the game, it is, it's a solid patch, and there are things that are really enjoyable about it as well, so it's definitely worth it. Hi, hey, D-Bear. I'm same old stuff for me, really. It's, it's, it's as, as the UK gold, it, as the UK goes, sorry, it's fairly cold. I went out walking the dog in minus three this morning, which is... Well, it was probably minus two when I actually left, but that that doesn't sound cold. And people are going to say it's minus fucking seventy-five here. You play well, it's cold for here. Okay, that's the that's the thing. <laughs> I've not read the road, Kamal. I've seen the film. I've not read it. The road is on my list. I I re my missus knows that. Uh, the, the, the film No Country for Old Men is my all-time favourite film. And uh, as a little present, like a stocking filler one year, she got me uh, The Road and Blood Meridian. And uh, I've read Blood Meridian and I've ne not read The Road yet. What? Yeah, I know it was. Oh, I've read Blood Meridian last year. Where's mm. my dinner? <laughs> Just poked red in the door to go. That was about six years ago. Not seen her read many books. <laughs> no country for old men, Fox the Paradox. Ever watched June? Yeah, several times. <laughs> I definitely think Where's My Dinner was the appropriate response there. <laughs> Still got the NBC gear. No, I just died, dude. I'm, NBC gear is long gone, unfortunately. Jimmy, interesting. She's she's got a dressing gown on and a beanie hat. I have to say that's an interesting look. Dressy gown and a beanie hat. I'm not exactly nursing a semi right now. I'm not going <laughs> to... We've not had any snow here, Highlands, no. No country for old men is good, but Die Hard 3 is still better. I actually really like Die Hard 3. Die Hard with a Vengeance. I thought that was one of... I, I really liked it. Sam Jackson...
don't think I'll need that, but if we need to like open any cans or anything, it just saves my knife, I suppose. It's been snowing badly in Liverpool, is it? Blimey. It doesn't snow anymore like it used to, does it? You know, like like when I was a lad, we used to get snow all the time. Like snow enough so that you were like, God, if it snows much more, they're gonna close the school. Like that there was one or two days in as as a child where they shut the school and then everyone just went sledging, you know, like that doesn't happen anymore, does it? <laughs> More tea. Well, thanks for coming in, dude. Did you walk to school in the snow uphill both ways? Yep. Favourite country to visit? Italy. But there's a lot of countries I've not yet visited. Mm. Missed a sewing kit on the car, did I? Oh well. I might go back and get it. It's not exactly something I can live. I can, I can live without it, you know. I could fix the gloves up. Maybe I'll go back and get it and the, and the shirt. I might keep the BDU shirt this time just to see if we can get lucky on finding a helmet to match it. I might just take some rags just in case. You never know. Watching the PC for the first time on my new PC specialist. Sorry, watching the stream for the first time on your new PC specialist rig. Ooh, GG. If you too would like to be uh, uh, earning extra double call points, because that statement alone makes it sound worth it, right? <laughs> uh, type exclamation PC in the chat and use the code MANZ to get a little bit of money off a PC. Yeah, you were right. Well spotted. I didn't really waste any time there because I had to fill my fill my canteen back up at the well anyway. I'd like to go to Japan one day, Liquid. I will go one day, but when I'm not planning it right now at all, but I would like to go, yeah. It's it's uh, Europe only, yeah. Europe only for the PC specialist PC stuffs. Opinion on Germany to visit. I've never been, dude. I would quite like to go. I think it's probably a bit of a cliche, but I'd quite like to go for Oktoberfest, you know. I think that would be cool. What's not to like about beer and sausage, you know? I'd quite like to go for that, but uh, I've not, not got there yet. One day, maybe. The gluten in intolerance, dude, I, I think... Uh, I think I could take some glutolytic tablets and just try and ride it out just for the just for the uh, the kind of uh, crack if you like you know I think it'd be worth it PC specialist does not deliver to the US no because they're a UK based company so I don't think anybody with any sense would say order a $2,000 PC and then have it shipped transatlantic dude it it wouldn't make sense, would it? If it went wrong, what you'd have to pay to ship it back, you know? There's also uh there's also like import and export duty to pay on stuff like that, dude. So if you're buying something really expensive, it needs to be somewhere local really. Like if I buy something from France, I don't pay any import duty. But if I buy it from America I do. As an example. PC stuff may be cheaper in the US. You may be right. This way I've never looked. I 
I am going to need some food. I was going to shoot that zombie, but I haven't got a suppressor. That was the last life, wasn't it? Hey, Paul, how's your day going, champ? It was going better until I just died. But it's going all right. Dude. I don't want to ruin my gloves. I have to be honest. I think this is a this is a feature I'd love to see them change a touch. <laughs> the, the gloves getting so damaged so quick just from punching seems stupid. I don't. I, I, it's just just kind of grating. Got your first ever SSG in there. Well, I wouldn't mind an SSG now. That'd be better than nothing. Of the damaged stab vest. I remember when I had an, a baby AK. I had a baby AK and a full mag once. Remember that? Those were the days. May as well take it. We could get. We've got a box of bullets. We could get potentially a uh, a mag at the prison island. Bollocks to that. Ooh. There's our SSG. It's not the best gun in the world, but. <laughs> better than I've got right now. I do with him having a mag, really. Is SSG better than the Pioneer? No, they're about the same, dude. They both have very similar stats, I think, in terms of damage. There's next to nothing in them. Uh, the SSG's got the built-in scope, so obviously a Pioneer, you need to find a good scope. So in some ways, the SSG does have some benefits, because very often where you find a Pioneer is not where you find an ACOG scope. You, know, you, you, find, you find a 6x or a 4x ACOG much later in that character's life. By the time you find you need one, you, you don't have the uh, you don't have the pioneer anymore. So the SSG is more versatile unless you get lucky enough for one to spawn with the scope on it that you want. I'm gonna check a couple of these houses and kill the zombies because I do need a bit of food. One of these zombies will spawn me a can of spaghetti or something, won't they? Not going to fix the vest yet. Oh shit. I thought he'd run towards me and he didn't. The suppressors, the suppressors help loads at D-Bear, yeah. I haven't found zombies any easier to kill personally. They're, they've made the blunt melee weapons a little bit better than they were, but they were absolutely shit, you know, but... Killing zombies with a knife is the same as it was. If anything, I, I could be wrong. It's might more of a feeling, but if anything, it's felt slightly harder to punch zombies out than it was before. But I've got no. Oh, it just that's just like a gut feeling. I, that doesn't mean that's true. Would like to fix those boots. I think. Every stream you run, yeah, pretty much, dude. Because I die so fucking often, right? I already died once today. Oh, 
how well does a plate carrier actually work against high caliber? Well, if you've got no vest on and you get hit by a Mosin, you die. If you get hit by a Mosin wearing a plate carrier, you don't. So that works quite well. <laughs> the only difference, though, is that you, you, sh you do still go unconscious. But as we've seen lately, that doesn't mean you die. You're like, I shot somebody unconscious with a DMR on Tuesday and they got up and killed me. And then yesterday, somebody shot me unconscious and I got up and killed them, you know. So uh, the idea that unconscious means guaranteed death is not really true. Yay. I missed Buckshot on the floor, did I? Oh, well. I see it now, but or Buckshit, as, as some of us might call it, right? <laughs> I don't know which, which building it was. Was it in here? I haven't got a shotgun, but... Was the buck shit in here? I don't know. Not going back any further anyway. If there is, I'm missing it again, but I don't care. I'm, I'm going on. I need some food, and I need it now. By the door upstairs. Yeah, I just couldn't see it. Red chain, blimey. Hi Jacko, how you, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Where is he? Cheers for the 33 Welsh Warrior. Uh, yeah, we're doing alright. Just for the support, dude. Thank you. Has anyone told you this sounds like Goldeneye? E. Carlson, it was made by Neuro to sound like Goldeneye. So that was the inspiration for this. So it's my uh, theme tune, but Goldeneye. How long does my stream normally last? Six to eight hours. The only thing is, it might say I've only been live an hour and 20 minutes. That's not true. I've been on coming up to four hours. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I've got that one tin of food, but... I'll put that there. Nice twelve months down. Alien, thank you for the year inning. Cheers for the support. Uh, thank you very much indeed, dude. Appreciate it. Right, that actually could come in handy. I could just go and kill one of those deer and then I'll have food, won't I? I think I'm just going to do that. Nox, uh, no, I've, I've not had any bad luck, but I've not had any luck either. Gonna be sick. Hello. Hello, dude. You're right. I'm just yeah, going. Yeah, I'm just going to kill one of those deer. So if you hear a shot, that's all it will be. Okay. Ah, uh, do you want to share some of the meat? <laughs> I can give you something. I don't know what I've got. Uh, you can have a bit if you want. Yeah, hang on. Let's, let's, uh... Cheers, buddy. Thank you. I really want to share the meat.
I can't hear the deer now. No, that way. Yeah, like, yeah, that way, yeah. I don't really want a team, if I'm honest, rightly or wrongly. I, I don't really want a team. I, may, I might do. I might team with him, but I, I don't really want to. I don't know why I don't. He seems alright, but... Sometimes I'm in the mood and sometimes I'm not, I guess. Same as everybody else. They seem to be getting further away. Did I already check that? Do you need a knife? Nah, I got a knife, dude. Alright, oh, If he kills me while I'm cutting this up, I think I'm gonna fucking cry. I don't think he will. him. What's he doing? Were you just were you were you just being sick or what? What you, what was going on in there? I, look, you look like you were you weren't very well. <laughs> no, I've just been mauled by some zombies. I've got low blood and I'm getting quite hungry. <laughs> oh, do you, did you go uncon? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, so you're, you're flashing red still, are you? Uh, no, it's just hit yellow, probably about 20 seconds ago. Ah, uh, okay. It's a shame, I could have ran away. What's your name, dude? Uh, my name's Harry, what's your name? My name's Dave, you're right, you're right, dude. Oh, nice to meet you, Dave. Yeah, there's a little red and white house up the hill we can maybe check just to see if there's... Uh, well, cook there, maybe, that'd be wise. I wondered why he kept falling behind. That'll explain it then. Fixed in my bag, dude. Alright, mate. Do you need any 762 by 39? Nah, I'm good. I've only got an SSG with a, without a mag, and so it only shoots 545, but I, I don't need a great deal, dude. I've, I've, I've only ri I've got like new spawn gear with uh, a guy to kind of a good bag, really, but I haven't got a great deal. Whereabouts were, you plan here. whereabouts were you planning on going? I'm just going to kill one of these sheep. Um, I was going to plan on probably just going to Prison Island, then probably up to like Salerno and up that yeah, way. Yeah, I, I was going to do similar, I think. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't. What's wrong with me? Why don't want to? Why don't I want to team up with him? Don't know what's wrong with me. He seems like a nice enough dude. First shot. <laughs> they tanked a lot of bullets. Yeah, that's what I'd say as well. <laughs> Provide you some cover. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That sounds good. Yeah, it's a mad sound. So is uh, making a fireplace as well. It's got some crazy new sound. Oh yeah. Have you uh, found the uh, new gun yet? Uh, I have not found the new gun yet, no. Topper, I did see a little bit about that, about somebody that was playing with a dude. I don't know if yeah, we... I how kind we, of like my mission to try and find it, to have I, a little go of it. I don't know how we tell if it's the same guy or not, but I saw that in the mod room at last night or this morning. Yeah, I'd like to find it. I've had three DMRs in the last few days, but I've died with every one. <laughs> I've not had one DMR. You've done better than me, I guess. I guess there's no way of knowing. Have you played much experimental? Um, not really, no. I've played it a couple of times. I don't really get much time, really, because of work and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, I've got to Tissy a couple of times and just got my ass handed to me. Um, I don't know that's where the new gun spawns. No, that's I, kind I, of what I, I thought maybe t do. maybe Tissy as well. Right, I uh, I'm gonna go and get some sticks. Actually, I should have already done that. I'll, I'll get some sticks. Won't be a sec. All right, mate. I've got some matches. I do. What's the story with Harry? Well, I'm sure this is a different Harry, so let, let's just put... One of my uh, mods got a, a whisper yesterday from a viewer that was playing on the same server as me, not knowing they were playing on the same server as me. They weren't watching the stream or anything. But they met somebody that was called Harry that kept uh, that was asking him to give him a suicide for a respawn, and they, he didn't, and they ended up teaming up. And a bit later, he'd confessed that he'd been trying to suicide to meet me, and he'd been trying a few times to meet me. Might not be the same dude though. Sure it isn't. Right, I got got six six sticks. Nice. The match is on the floor, mate. I do. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but I've got a cook I've got a frying pan, so it will be relatively quick. Nice, yeah.
Do you need any um three five seven? I've got a couple there. Nah, I've only got a uh, I've only got a Glock. Sorry, I've got a nineteen eleven and a Glock, but I don't I don't need any three fifty seven. I've got nothing that uh, it shoots. I've got a mag if you want it. It's got two bullets in it. I've got a IJ with a couple in it. I'm good, dude. I'm, I, and I've got a 1911 with a mag and a UMP with no mag and a few other bits, but I'm, do, I'm doing all right. Yeah, you're balling. Nice, not just to see black and white now. Getting some colour back. Yeah, no, that's cool. Dude, I can't even eat a single steak because the food's cooking so quick. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, that is... It's a lot quicker, is that, than to do the new update, do you think? No, it's just the way you cook it. If you warm it on the smoker before you put it in the frying pan, it cooks it really, really quick. Oh, shit, didn't know that. Still red all this way away. Kind of like to try and find a blaze or a tundra. I've got a box of bullets and a long range scope, so that'd be kind of cool, but not going to find one. But well, there is, nice. there what you can find tundras in this house, but not today, it seems. Yeah, good places, I think, are like castles and um, yeah, you can get them there. holiday camp places. Right, just pick up a load of the meat, dude. I've I've got like seven or eight bits. You can just take the rest and win. So, do you want to do you want to join up? We just go to the prison island, or what do you think? Should we just go there? Yeah, sure. Let's yeah, do why it. Loving YouTube Steam's tea. So I know what's going to happen. I'm going to start swimming across there and I'm just going to get um, pinged off by someone. I doubt it. You don't have to do much swimming anymore because of the, the map changes. You only swim a little bit. You'll probably be all right. I'm going to find myself a tundra in the in the, the uh, feed shack in just the other side of these bushes. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> so have you been on long today? Uh, um, I've been on for like... What's time now? Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes ish. I've got oh, about yeah. 5 o'clock. There's one more hunting stand to check. Yeah, there's one more hunting to stand to check just on this way and then we can head straight to the prison. Alright, mate. You don't even have to swim at all. I, 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 well, the way I know, I always swim. I don't know if there's a, a way where you can avoid swimming, but the way I go, you always have to swim a tiny bit. Run bike. I told him my name. I asked him what his name was, and then I he, think, he did um, ask me. I think because I ain't got really got bullets for my guns, and both of them, these pistols are badly damaged. If we get into like a firefight, someone shooting, I'll just be bait. Here you go, so dude. You There's. Can get uh, a shot off, I, I forgot you had the shotgun there, but you can take those. I just got them in the last feed check. Might as well have those. Oh shit! Nice. Global celebrity. All right. <laughs> 
Heavy drama. Uh, loving YouTube streams. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Well, not much useful there. Up there. A heat pack. No. <laughs> Right, uh, if we get really, really lucky, there could be a convoy on the road. Other than that, we might as well... I normally go on the right-hand side to go across. I don't know about you, but... All right. Yeah, yeah. I like to check this hill up before we get across there, just in case there's someone camping it. Well, uh... I've had that happen to me before. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen it. There, there won't be anyone, dude. Not, no way. No. I bet, I bet you, uh, I don't know. I bet you your life there's nobody camping. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. No, I, it used to happen quite a bit, but I've I've not had it happen for a while now. You know, it's just not that high value of an area anymore. Although the loot on Prison Island is pretty decent, I'm surprised more people don't go. To be honest. Yeah, it's not too bad, and I forget the name of that um, little military base right at the southwest. That's. Yeah, nice it's Not just past Kamenka. I just call it Kamenka. Yeah, it's uh, it's all right. TJ, you can find. I'm, sometimes my voice might help help me team up with people because people recognise it. I suppose. Yeah, there's but also a chance for a heli spawn. Um, I know just at the top of this hill and there, the other side. Yeah, there is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, if you keep playing. The reality is, though, if you want to team up with someone, you're far better off doing it when you're a new spawn. You know, like. It's a lot easier to team up with someone if you're a new spawn and they're a new spawn. That's way, way, way better. Once you've travelled in land and you've been alive a couple of hours or whatever, people are far less likely to commit to teaming up because they've got more time invested in the character to risk. Well, the convoy is not there, but I'm just going to check to see if there's any loot. Sometimes there's a bit of loot still on the ground from where the convoy was. I don't really need that heat pack, but I'm going to be swimming for a little while. I just thought I'd activate it just to see if it uh, helped me out a little. No loot. He has no idea H W O U R T R M Z G heart. He has no idea who who you are. Um, I think he probably does, salty man. To be honest, I suspect he probably does. Sorry, dude. I'm back. That's all right. I thought you was admiring the view. <laughs> <laughs> a text from my daughter. I just thought I'd quickly reply before I forget. This guy does look good. He looks good over to the right, doesn't it? Yeah. I like what they've done with the sky. The yeah. sky looks really awesome. Yeah, now. me too. Yeah, she's t my my, uh, my daughter's text me the twelve year old one. She's all pleased with herself because she's made chicken nuggets from scratch, as in like breaded the chicken herself, you know. But to a twelve year old, that's that's insane. <laughs> so she's quite pleased with herself making nuggets. For all we know, I could be John Krasinski. I wish I was. 
I wish I was. I, I wouldn't bother writing any more uh, stuff or or directing any more stuff or acting in any more stuff. I'd just I follow Emily really Blunt around shot. everywhere. <laughs> we ain't getting shot. I don't think you will. It'd be my luck. <laughs> What's that, Emily? You want a foot rub? No problem. What's that? You, you want a sandwich? No problem. Anything for you. It's fine. What do you need? I'm here. Hello, yeah, you're possibly right. Picky, that is not true. I usually just quickly check these bits on the docks at the start just so it's done. That's really good. I got a UMP mag uh, for my UMP, which is cool, but it's badly damaged, and so is the gun. So it's uh, it's not going to last so well. I do Hopefully have. A... we find a um, cleaning kit here. Yeah, I should think. Well, I would imagine there'll be a better condition UMP, or a better condition UMP mag at least. You know. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to have the heart to tell him that I've already got. Already got one. I, I know I've got one already, but I, I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste the whole yeah, cleaning kit. I didn't see kit. any zombies spawning. I did try and okay. zoom in to see. They're normally all up here by the barracks, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, ju I, just want to, I just want to find a better UMP or a better mag. So I only need to use half of it. Found an SK. Oh, dude, that's cool. Have you heard it yet? It sounds amazing. I haven't, no. But they changed the sounds of it, yeah. Yeah. If I if I didn't have a fucking Tamagotchi, I'm I'd have an SKS. Oh my luck. I'd have a fucking SKS if it wasn't for this fucking joker taking all the good loot. Fuck. <laughs> He's a nice guy, right? But I want the SKS. I'm not going to take the SKS, by the way. I'm not killing him, so don't don't start getting any ideas. It's not happening. Are you in this one? Yeah, I'm in this one, dude. Alright, man. I've found some um, bullets for your SG. I'm just going to lock these zombies in this shed. Alright, man. I hope they fucking knock you on, Connor, and I can take your SSG. Sorry, your SKS. <laughs> I don't mean it, of course. Oh, let's put that there. That's a good shout. see any smoke. Did it drop at the bottom? Is 
It's in my hand, but I guess it's not smoking. I thought it would still smoke, to be honest. I guess because it's not, it's kind of bugged on the ladder as such. It won't smoke until I get to the top, maybe. Yep, that's what happened. In 1911, man. The SKS is... I've been here like three times on Experimental. I've not seen an SKS yet. All I've got is SSGs and fucking Scorpions. Why is he... Sorry, SSGs and Pioneers. Why is he get it? I've got it's a not... couple of bullets um, for your SG thing. Yeah. I don't care. All right, dude. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I have got a couple of SK bullets. Hang on. They are... There's five on the ground. There's only five, but five's better than none. Nice. Yeah, it's better than three what I gave you. I've got the better end of the deal there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> I don't know why I've become such a cynic, but I, I don't know. gonna check the tower, I might as well. Alright mate. I have found guns up here a few times. Oh there's a shotgun. Do you want do you want a shotgun? Oh you've got one already haven't you? I I don't really like the yeah. shotgun, I'm gonna leave it. There's two more sh red shells on the ground for your shotty if you want them. Cheers mate. Yeah nothing up here. I do live in the UK, yeah. I've just vaulted out on, onto the... Yeah, I've just vaulted out there, dude. Bit of parkour. Can't hurt. Yeah, you can do quite a lot of parkour on here. Yeah, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos of people like running on um, telephone wires and stuff. One thing you can do... You, if you actually run and jump from here, you land in the water. You see... You look down there, you see how dark and black it is. If you la if you jump from here, you you can land in the water and you don't die. Oh, that's some serious balls. I tell you what, when we loot here, I'll try it. How about that? All right. Let's see what else there is. Here. Yeah, I just dropped that one there. It's got oh, got no you. scope, so I've just found it's a slight, rounds, slightly yeah. better condition uh, SSG, so I'm grabbing that.
Oh god, the, the door won't open. Oh shit, sorry dude. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I hit you or you hit me. Nah, uh, it's all good. I think I've got a few more red shells. Nice. I just found a scorpion. Why would I kill him? Right. I got a couple. I'm in the ground floor thing. I've got a couple more bullets for your SKS. Nice, alright mate. Right. Anything else to loot? I, don't, Shit, I think that's it, isn't it? I think we've loot. Nothing else to loot here. Uh, no. I don't think these um, green towers spawn anything, do they? No, they don't. On some modded servers they do, but they don't on regular servers. Oh, I tell you what we should do, just right quick. The uh, window sills, yeah. the the window sills can sometimes spawn guns and vests and stuff. So I doubt there'll be anything. What, like there? Yeah, just just the or on all three levels, really? the, the window sills can spawn loot. It's quite rare. There's only like one spawn per floor normally, but I found guns and vests on them. Doesn't seem like there's going to be one today. No, bottom one and the middle one didn't have anything. Yeah, doesn't look like there is anything this time, but it, they do spawn. Yeah. Right, I'm going back in the tower. All right, mate. I live in Suffolk, summer. Curly Whirly, dead gamer Mike. Thank you for the support, dude. Yeah, I'm back I'm on. I'm, this jump, I'm yeah. back on the. I'm back on the roof. Well, it's up to you. You've got to get it just right. Like, if you get it slightly wrong, you could be in trouble. <laughs> but if you if you do it, if you run and you jump, you should be fine. Where do I jump from again? You have to be right on the ridge, and you have to jump right at the very last second. Oh shit! What? Just completely dead straight? Yeah. You kind of almost want to angle. You kind of almost want to angle just slightly to the right. Like you don't need to jump, run from far, but if you if you just slightly off to the right, you'll make it. All right, All right watch me cut this up. Are you ready? I'll right, see you in another life. Good Dave. luck, dude. Good luck. <gasps> You're gonna die! Ah! That's the second time I've done that. I'm very sorry to those that don't like that, but there we go. <laughs> he nearly made it. <sighs> Beautiful. Thank you. 
That never gets old. <laughs> oh dear me. He made a few bone knives, didn't he? On. On. How are his dry? I guess he only just picked him up. Poor guy. He nearly made it though. He nearly made the jump. He was close. You can do it guys. Anyone that's watching, if you, you can't do it, don't try. Don't try, okay? Don't try. Did he say for the content? Oh dear. That's the second time we've heard a heli crash close to here, but I didn't find the last one. Hmm. These are really good. What's for dinner? Minted lamb steaks with salad in pita breads. Really, really good. I think you just cursed this run. Every run I've had this week has been cursed. Too. Maybe that's listed it. He knows W H O you are less than three. You think so, salty man? I think so. Maybe. Tony, that never gets old, dude. Uh, I I don't can't. I, that seems such a lie. That was probably about four years ago. I did that last. Uh. I don't think he has anything else. least drop his stuff. Well, I could do. Trousers are ruined, so there's no point dropping that. Another one of those mags. Right, there we go. We, we've had a nice little gear up there. Put the holster on your belt. Good shout. I did just get the belt, didn't I? a bow knife. Yeah, cheers for that, picky bucker. Maybe I'll forget it just this once.
Canteen on the belt. Yeah, I had to wait until somebody told me to do that, obviously. Oh, God. I need to eat this food. It's so good. find me and shoot me. I doubt it. He won't have a gun. Num num num. That's the secret. This is the, these are the best lamb pitters I ever did have, they are. The missus has started cooking them in the oven and minting the lamb before she cooks it. And then adding a little bit more mint at the end. It, it's fucking amazing. Layo Valu, thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support. Forty man's tiny man, dead gamer Mike, uh, curly whirly. Cheers for the support. Seal, sorry, it's a long time ago, dude, but I think I might have missed your your new sub. Thank you. Astro, no, I never, I never think of myself as a, as a character in a game, no. I'd also jump off a building if I heard your voice. Thanks. Leo Valu, was watching on YouTube, did you finish out the NBC? No, I needed to find a gas mask and I got killed. Um, Like John Lithgow's character in Dexter. Dexter, I've never seen it. We heard a heli land. Could be over there behind the town. Subject. Well, the convoy's not. So I want to go to the mini base, but before I do that, I'm going to quickly swing around uh, 
somebody in the chat said they thought it was near Pavlovo, and I think you may well be right. I think we might go and have a look that way. Not gonna lie, I hope you get sniped and not use any of your loot. Ah. Oh. Dude, I've been killed all week without getting to use any of my loot, so what's the difference? Smoke TV douche. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Pizzle, thank you for the resub. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Layover, thank you for the new sub. Cheers for the prime, dude. Thank you. I'm hoping to see the heli, but... See the heli. check that. Might as well check it again though. Could have spawned some. Tip, yeah I do do. Do do. doing right now is just double checking where the helicopter crash sites might be. I'm going to have to peel left in a minute. It's not in there, is it? Fucking church. It's not there. I'm going to go this way. was good. That was good stuffs. <clears throat> uh, it's quite kind of cool actually on the subject of nice food. I, I'm trying to be vaguely healthy at the moment so that means not many takeaways and things but uh, it's my daughter's birthday on Sunday and uh, she's here for the weekend so my elder daughter it's her birthday on Sunday so on Saturday night we're going to give her the option of uh, like I know what's going to happen already, but we'll give her the option of a takeaway of her choice, or maybe we can take her out somewhere to, for something to eat. But she's going to pick Chinese. She's going to pick Chinese takeaway, because that's what she will pick. I know she will. But So but that's kind of cool. It's a nice excuse for a Chinese takeaway. I don't really agree, Seamus. I think being able to hear them from a long way away is a good thing, because it draws more players, you know? The whole point of having an audible heli crash is that it draws players to a potential bottleneck, you know, like if it doesn't have a very big range, then it doesn't serve the purpose, you know. What you really want is people hearing the crash and then beelining it to it and then having a firefight, you know. Redline, I'm not going to be drinking. You don't need to drink if you have a Chinese takeaway. What's my go-to order? Well, me and Maggie both share a beef curry normally. So we have beef curry as like the meat dish, and I, I, I kind of tend to go for special fried rice uh, or similar. Uh, I quite like spare ribs, like uh, of some sort. I don't, I'm not really flamboyant with with uh, Chinese on the whole, but I quite like beef curry. I really love chow mein, like like reg just any chow mein, but it's obviously it's it's gluten, so I don't normally don't normally go that way. My missus really likes the uh, crispy chilli beef. 
Again, I can't really do that because of the gluten unless I want to take a tablet. Ain't seen a heli. You like pork, pork chowmin, do you? I like, I like, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I quite often go for pork fried rice and beef chowmin. Satay chicken is amazing, actually. I really like satay chicken. A lot of the Chinese takeaways around our way don't do satay chicken, which is kind of annoying. There's one that's a bit further away that will let you order crispy chicken balls and change the sauce from sweet and sour to satay, which is a fucking dream combo. And again, those balls have got, got bread breadcrumbs in them, but nonetheless, like, I don't really like sweet and sour sauce, but uh, satay sauce, oh, fuck me, that's good. Off to the YouTube mines, the mines of Moria. Am I checking the lucky convoy spawn again? Yep, I will do. Dell, yeah, that's cool. Like, I tell you what, I've, I've started liking, like, you know, like, you're, you're out somewhere shopping for the afternoon or something and you want lunch. I've, there's, like, in Cambridge, for example, there's, a, like, a few, like, sheds where they do, like, pop-up food and stuff. I'm quite keen on just getting some, like, rice noodles or something. Normally you can get Singapore, like, verm vermicelli, is it, noodles? And they're normally gluten-free and they're really good, like, for lunch or something. Maybe not the healthiest thing for you, but they taste amazing. I like vermicelli noodles. They are good. So this was a heli site. I did I did check this hill with my comp with my uh, I nearly said compass then, but with my long range scope, and there wasn't one. But I was just wanted to be sure that I wasn't more than a kilometre away. Rice noodles don't suck if they're cooked right, John. It's like Sim Singapore like style noodles taste really good, and if you can only really have rice noodles, trust me, they don't stuck they don't suck. I don't see that coming to official, dude, but I, I really liked it. For a, for an event, I really liked the bombardment. So the question was, what did you think of the bombardment at the end of Lights Out? I loved it. I thought it was great. The only thing I wished is that they started it sooner. You know, there was a zombie running at the back there, but I don't think it was aggroed. Like, there was a massive wait between arriving there, getting into a zone where you could defend. And then the first bombardment happening. But I thought it was really novel. I thought it was great. What happened to Henry? He fell. We were on the roof and he fell off. I guess that clip should probably go under exc exclamation last clip, by the way, mods. I don't know if it has or not, but... John gone. There he is. I thought I had a cooking pot. I've got a canteen, haven't I? That PU scope is a really nice little find, actually, for now. A Darwin Award. 
Wait, why did he jump like that? Move maker, he he was under the impression that if you jumped at the right angle, you'd you'd land in the water and survive. It should count as a last kill. Love the content. Oles, one, two, three. Thank you very much for the two months. Hotfix, dude, 104 months. Holy shit, dude. Shit, dude. 104 months. Holy hell. Uh, Hotfix, thank you very, very much for the support, dude. Hope you're good. Thank you. Grease Trap, thank you for the new sub. Pizzle, thank you very much for the support. Does that mean that I'm coming up to my nine-year partner anniversary in June? It must do, mustn't it? Mustn't it? You worm-tongued him into jumping. I I've been practicing the voice. Give me the knife! <laughs> Red Redline, I don't know what math is. I only know what maths is, sorry. Yeah, there's another couple of heli crashes this way. I'm kind of hoping we'll see one. Hotfix, thanks a lot, dude. That's incredible. Four more months for the nine-year subversary. Holy shit. Could have been in the death metal band with that voice. Interesting idea. I don't really need this bison, do I? They are pretty good for killing zomboys. We were using one yesterday. They, they're pretty good for zomboy killings. There's the heli. I don't see any zomboys though, that's the, the trouble, but hopefully. If we get really lucky here, imagine, just imagine if there's a DMR. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. You utter bene gesseri, you. <laughs> Sapien, thank you very much for the support. Ben Jezeret, I like it, she doesn't say it right, but I know what you mean. Uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Imagine all the DMRs. Killing for today. <laughs> That's a beautiful song, by the way. I haven't heard that song in forever. Kind of lucky, like, like I I got a sharpening stone from that dude that believed he could fly. Now we've got a, a back to good condition. Well, mind you, I don't really need it. In fact, do you know what? I'm gonna drop it. Let's use the pristine one. I just wasted a little bit of my sharpening stone, but that's okay. This heli's not looking good, is it? Oh, what an absolute dog turd heli. A 1911 at a heli. I mean, what the fudge? Boo! 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 I guess we could take the NBC pants. I'm never going to use them, but I could take them.
That's my karma for the jump. I don't understand why people are so upset about the jumping guy. It's, it's, it's important to teach players valuable life lessons. If someone says you can jump off a roof and land in the water, make them do it first. You know, it's just common sense stuff really, you know. If they won't do it first, you don't do it either. Sometimes there is loot at the rip part of the heli. Not on that one, Timmy. There's two different types of helicopter crash site. The uh, heli the Russian heli doesn't spawn loot at the uh, at the back. The Russian heli, the one with the one you can get inside, only spawns loot around it. The American one, where you can't get inside it, that one spawns loot at the tail. had a real nostalgia value as well though that's the thing you know like long time viewers have seen me do that once before you know it's just like a lovely callback you know that's all a bit like an old has been rock star singing his greatest hits you know I was like Bono singing that song he sung. <coughs> Imagine by Bono. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Where am I? I'm in the southeast, sorry, southwest corner of the map, close to uh, Menkamili base. Dog Biscuits by Bono. Sounds like a good song, actually, Dog Biscuits. See, I'm trying to think of like a really famous song from uh, U2, and all I can think of is Beautiful Day. And that's not like one of their big songs, is it? Hold me, thrill me, kiss me, kill me. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Yeah, that's a good one. That one that was in Friends when, when Ross and Rachel were having all their troubles. You give yourself away, that one. I can't remember what the name of the song is, but... With or Without You, there, that's the puppy. Yeah, that's that's a pretty well-known song too, isn't it? new helmet. It's the BDSM one as well. Matchy McMatch. <laughs> BDSM. It's BDU jacket, right? BDSM. <laughs> Tesco pants. We need those as well. I, naturally, I want to get myself some uh, BDSM pants. And a gimp mask. But uh, for now, we'll settle for this. They've lowered the rate of fire a little bit of the Vega and lowered the recoil of it. Wow, look at that, both pristine. I'm not going to keep the Vega, but I'm just going to hold it for now. I might shoot a couple of Zeds with it in a minute. It's 
is not going to work. Got to turn the gamma off. Be honest, the loot at this particular base has been getting progressively worse for me of late. The loot has been kind of shite. We've got an SKS, which is cool. I kind of want to shoot the SKS, to be honest. Oh, that's good news. If we get lucky on the. Uh on the convoy, we could get ourselves a DMR. That's very cool, Nurse, nurse Debbie. My boss and wife met Bono in, in Bothy Island. He stayed and played out a few songs and shared some treats with the boss's wife made... Some tweets, some treats that the boss's wife made, which were then referred to as Bono's balls. Bono's balls. Would you like a suck on Bono's ball? Hmm. Bono is a nod. Well, nod. Well, everyone popular gets that. Uh, gets that reputation. He, he can be a little bit. I think he's all right. I've never met him. <laughs> I think there's worse celebrities, to be honest. I'm trying to get two in one, but I can't. It does feel lower recoil, like noticeably lower. I know I was only firing it singularly, but it did seem lower. I think lower rate of fire, lower recoil is better for that. It might be more viable to take. I'm not taking it on this life, but it definitely might be more viable to take. I've never liked the Vega myself, Borg. On paper, is it a good weapon? Uh, the, the recoil has always put me off. Uh, I'd rather use a double barrel, where you can fire both shells at the same time. The, the Vega's got higher rate of fire, obviously, and you can get like a 20 round drum mag, which is kind of hard to argue with. And I, over the years, I've done pretty well with the Vega once or twice, but the recoil is a bit off putting. And since they changed the ballistics a bit, it's also weaker as well. So you could hit a shot with the with the Vega that the player tanks, but you could take that same shot with the, the uh, double barrel and they would drop. But certainly with a drum mag and uh, a little bit of practice, it is a decent gun. The problem, I think, really is if it's if it's on a really end game character. There's so many better choices that you never would keep it. You know, like like the Vega's okay, but it's limited by the buckshot. The buckshot's only got a close range. Like nobody would ever take a Vega over, I don't know, an Orge X or an M4 or an AK74 or an M16. Or, I, I suspect not many people would anyway. You know, like. Any of the assault rifles are a better secondary because they work really well at close range, but they, they work a bit better at 30 or 40 metres away where the Vega's not going to do anything. You know? Kill my... Well, it's, it, it doesn't say what they've done with the, the ARs. It just says they've adjusted recoil of the ARs. So, yeah, they have, they have uh, 
changed it. I'm guessing they've increased it, to be honest, but not done a great deal of playing yet. Vega or Baby AK? I'd probably go Baby AK, to be honest. Spam it, thank you. Spam it, thank you very much for the 21 rules. Thank you for the 16. Vit here, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for subscribing. Loyal Heretic, thank you. Emmy Rassel, thank you for the Prime. Uh, thanks all of you guys for the support. Cheers, thank you. Right, I'm not going to go to the house, actually. I was going to, but we've got food. Uh, there's not much point, is there? We might as well... Uh, might as well just move along. Johnson and Johnson and Johns. Who is that you're referring to there? Topper, I've just seen your thing about Bono. That, that's an interesting take. Harry had to go away for a while. Mark has not seen the new gun at all. No, I think it's a relatively elusive beast. Dr. Beats, if it was yesterday, I remember someone saying about taking me with that. I didn't notice it, dude. No, so do it, send it again. Tag me again, dude. Or... Send 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 it in the Discord and at me on my in my Discord. But yeah, I, I normally catch most of my Twitter. But like when I finish a stream, there's sometimes a load of notifications, and YouTube does a pretty good job of of not showing all notifications. So I'm sorry, sorry, not YouTube, Twitter. Like it shows like some, and then the rest are cut off, and you click show more, and sometimes you don't. You just miss them, you know. start with how much I dislike Phil Collins. Well, thank you. <laughs> You've thought twice, haven't you? I am indeed dubs, yep. Cheers, Beats. Thank you. Oh, well, that's a bad omen. There's no loot left over from a previous convoy. Today is my birthday. I'm 38 today, like you. Want to sing me happy birthday? No. I want to. I'll say happy birthday, happy birthday, Juggalo. I ain't singing, dude. Trust me. People flock in their in their hordes out of the chat if I sing. Robo took down his tree hitbox video. Interesting. I wonder why he took it down. I wouldn't sing for a 5k dono P2, no. I don't, I don't, I don't like singing on account of me being tone deaf. Daisy Gossip, oh Daisy Gossip, oh wow. 
I don't know. He, he might have took it down for all host of reasons. Maybe he's done some more testing and found different things, or who knows. But Potato runs. I don't blame you. I think I'd probably sing for 100k one in a year. I, don't, I, I think I'd be mad not to, wouldn't I? That's pounds, though, not US dollars. <laughs> How about dancing? I, I, I sing better than I dance. That's true. I can't dance for shit. The only thing about me is the way I walk, dude. Are there actually any people who go to a restaurant and are excited when strangers sing happy birthday? No, I think if I got the restaurant to sing happy birthday to my missus or something, she would cringe and like walk out probably. I did, Frank, yep. That, that's one of the things that made... Sorry, I, I wasn't really happy, so take this with a pinch of salt. But that's why I was happy happy that Frank and Benny's went bust, because uh, there was nothing worse than, like, what? there's a comedy show where they have to keep doing that, don't they? But, like, you're in, you're in Frankie and Benny's on a Saturday at 6pm. You can't have a fucking conversation without the amount of fucking happy birthday to you fucking wishes going on. Oh, my God. Anyway, nonetheless, that was then. And there are still some Frankie and Benny's open, because a few of them get, get got saved. And, I, and, of course, I don't really think it's good that they went bust. I certainly didn't like going in Frankie and Benny's very much, though. Maybe if they didn't do that, it wouldn't have gone bust. Used to love them. I never liked the food. I had a breakfast pizza in one once. It was like a... It was a pizza, at, obviously, at breakfast time. And it had, like, a fried egg in the middle. And it, like, bacon and, like, regu like mushrooms and stuff like that on it. That was good. That was good. I've never had a breakfast pizza before, but it was very, very good. I, I did quite like that, but I think that's the only thing I've ever ordered in Frankie's and Frankie and Benny's that I liked. I was AFK for 15 minutes. I think it was longer than 15 minutes. Manfred, he believed he could fly. He believed he could touch the sky. I like that helmet. I think that helmet looks good. I think that's my new favourite helmet. It'd be nicer if I could fix it. Look sharp! Now, I'm thinking about him every night and day. Twisted. No, yeah, I, I don't want to answer that question, dude. It, it, there's a, absolutely no point. It it uh, it just leads to drama that I can't be bothered. Leave the drama to Darren Rogers. I was working at the Stanlow refinery, so not much choices. That sounds like song lyrics. There was a South African restaurant, though, that did nice food. I reckon there's a song in that, Rekabi. You could get men at work to sing a South African version. <laughs> Darren Rogers, yeah. He's that famous quarterback. Uh, he's like, I think his brother's called Achilles. Bar map. Thanks again, dude. Uh, it was a little while ago, but why not? Thank you.
You tried a Hungry Horse pub. Uh, my Sunday dinner peas were boiled so much they were transparent. Blimey. You can boil peas that much, can you? I, I have to be honest, I really don't like it if you get peas in a in like a gastro pub or something and they come out. You know, like if you've been in the bath too long and your fingers go all like pruney. Like sometimes the prit, the peas have gone all pruney and they're really dry like fucking bullets. I, I, I don't like that. Killer dude, I, it's Darren Rogers. Darren Rogers. I know very well. He used to play for Green Day. Darren Rogers used to play for Green Day, and then they kicked him, kicked him out, and became a three-piece. <laughs> Before they did 1001 smoothed out slappy hours. Bye, Matt. Thank you for the 21. That's the, like, the fourth time, dude. Fuck me. Now he plays for the New York Seahawks. That's not right, dude. He plays for the New York Giants. They're a proper team as well. They're a proper team that play the foosball. He definitely plays for them. It's weird, though, really, because I thought the New York Giants were, like, blue and red. But it turns out the New York Giants wear green, which is kind of lucky, because Darren Rogers used to wear green when he was at Green Day. <laughs> I love it. I got it just wrong enough, but close enough, that people are correcting me. I like it even more. It's really weird. I know absolutely nothing about American football, but I know just enough to get things wrong on purpose. <laughs> American idiots may be quite apt for Darren Rogers. I don't know. I don't know all of all the ins and outs of uh, what he has to say, but there we go. He moved on St. Patrick's Day. Ah, oh, but Jesus. My mate from school was a New York Giants fan and he lorded it over me while I was picking the balls every year. The, the Buffalo Bulls. Both New York teams suck so it doesn't matter. I think the Giants have been good over the years, haven't they? I'm sure they're not very good right now. You heard it here first, though, by the way. Is that Buffalo will be winning the uh, the Super Bowl this year. They're definitely winning it. They're going to upset the odds. Tell us about the Bills quarterback. That's Dan Marino. Cheers, Summer. Take it easy, dude. It was some random, not Summer, but anyway. You give me that one, alright? <coughs> they ain't getting through Baltimore. They won't need to. Baltimore need to work on their defence. Bills fans are so crazy they throw dildos on the pitch. How do they get them in the stadium? <laughs> Gun in holster. Oh yeah, good shout. Did you see it, hear that story about Arnold Schwarzenegger getting fined for taking his own watch to uh, to a watch auction? How much does that suck? Like they were selling it for the Arnold Foundation for a charity, I believe, and he he got caught. I forget which country now. Someone will uh, tell will say Arnold Schwarzenegger. But he got caught by uh, customs and was made to pay a fine for taking his own watch. 
Well, Rimo, you say rich people's problems, but it was it was taking it for charity, you know? Like, it really is a rich person's problem when you're being fined for taking something that you're going to sell for, for charity, you know? Like, that. I think that sucks. Not his fault, is it? Like, but it was his possession is more to the point, you know? Why why did he get fined? Like, why, why, why do you even need to declare that you're taking something that's yours? Like... Is there a limit on how things can be expensive? Like, say, say, like, like some uber rich bastard wants to take a really expensive watch in their suitcase and wear one on their wrist because one watch simply isn't enough while they're on holiday for three days, you know? But surely that's their prerogative, right? Hell, well, it doesn't need to be taxed if it's, uh, if it's your own possession. Like, you pay tax if... You, the only reason he should be paying tax on it is if he just bought it, you know. He was he that was that watch was ages old. It wasn't brand new. There was no tax to be paid. That doesn't make sense. Like why are people saying that say you bought something 10 years ago and then you traveled abroad with it. Are you seriously saying you should pay tax on it when you get there? What a load of shit. Because the value of the watch was over 10k euros and he didn't declare it. So if you wear an expensive watch on holiday, you have to declare it, even though it's just a watch that's on your wrist. That don't make no sense either. You know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't get that. I don't get why that's a thing. I understand that you're not allowed to take, like, 10,000 in cash or whatever, and, like, I don't know who would, but... You know, people are fucking rocking some stupid watches. Money laundering is... I guess that would be a means to money launder, right? Can I... Say you're, uh, like, trying to take money from one country to another and you're a, you're a drug dealer, you know? You could you could take three watches all worth a million pounds each in a, in a watch roll uh, and then take them across the border and sell them on the other side. It would be a... I guess that's... I, can, I understand what you could do with it. But I, I still think it's a bit harsh in that circumstance, you know? Like... That's Arnold Schwarzenegger taking a watch made by Audemars Piguet that's a one of one made specifically for Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I don't see why he has to pay any tax. But yeah, I guess if you meant to declare it, it's never going to be a problem for me. I go on holiday. I went on holiday in 2019. I wore my Casio G-Shock. I'm like, why well, don't need to go on holiday with some something else? But why, the, the, the bit I don't get is, suppose he was meant to declare it and he forgot. Why can't he then redeclare it? Why does he have to pay tax on it? It was his possession. I don't understand why he had to pay any money. It was his. It was his. He, it wasn't, he didn't just buy it today and then he was going back home to avoid tax or something. But how will people know how successful you are if you don't wear it? I know, dude. How on earth will you... How on earth will you uh, get by? Wearing a fancy watch is not just about uh, showing people how well off you are or, or how successful you've been. It is for some. Most people are fucking idiots. The bit I'm not understanding is that, say you don't know the rules right and you've got, got a watch on your wrist that's worth 15,000 and it's over the threshold. Why do you have to pay when you get caught? Because it's it's a fairly obvious, like, innocuous error. Like, surely th there must be some leeway to go, where did you buy it? What What's the reason? Like, and, and then, then just, like, declare it there, you know? It just seems really harsh. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm naive, but it does seem really harsh. The watch will stay in the EU after it's sold, so it's not taking it back to the US. That's why he had to pay tax. I think that fucking sucks. Keep running, smiley face. Like whoever buys it, like if it's if it's being sold at auction, I'm guessing that auction will be worldwide. Any money you like, it will get sold back to America, at like at, in the auction, and then the f then the fucker will have to pay import tax to bring it back.
ignorance from the Lord doesn't excuse you from it. I agree, you know, but nonetheless, I think some pragmatism would be nice, I think. I know that's naive, but I just I just think it, it's strange. I know, you see those fly on the wall shows of people uh, working in airports. They're all over the place. You see some pragmatism there. You see people that are meant to be... Uh, they're meant to be travelling with stuff that they're not meant to be travelling with. Like, for example, you're not allowed to take food stuff from one country to another. And, and they let people off. They don't charge everybody, you know. Like, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that, you know. Like, you see them all the time and there's, there's like, someone going from, uh, I don't know, uh, Hong Kong to, uh, to Australia. And they've got a suitcase full of raw meat or something. They normally find those people... Uh, but someone that's got the same scenario, but they've gone one, one little packet that they'd forgotten was in their case. They let them off, you know, like. There's a difference between intentionally trying to get away with something and clearly being genuine, you know. And it'd be nice. It'd be nice if we lived in a world that understood that. That would be nice. Doesn't mean you can you can play devil's advocate all you like, but it would still be nice if we lived in that world. Thank you for being here and making my days less miserable. I had a breakup like five months ago and it appears to not... Uh, your streams helped a lot and making my days a little bit better. Alex, dude, get yourself back out there. Five months, five months, dude. Get yourself back out. Get down the gym. Get yourself looking as best as you've ever looked in your entire life. Get your confidence back. Get back in the saddle, dude. Come on. Five months is enough now. Get on, you'll be, you'll be alright. In, in another five months, you'll look back and go, thank fuck I did it. You'll be happy, trust me. Thank you very much for the support, Alex, dude. Uh, th there's, there's other happiness out there, dude. There is, trust me. Here's hoping for a blaze or a tundra. I did find a tundra actually uh, a little bit further up, didn't I, the other day? I found a tundra at the uh, first hunting shed, sorry, chicken shed, whatever, feed shack, past this base. Air Totten, uh, I just want to get geared and shoot some people without dying. I'd quite like to have another firefight or two with the SKS. The SKS sounds absolutely beastly. Uh, Alex, thank you again, dude. Uh, Mick Rhodes, thank you for the 16 months before that as well. FRD, well that sounds nice. Thanks for the graphic image of it, I have to say. Like, you never hear me talking about stuff like that. <laughs> never. I don't think the military train's there. Oh, I hope they do change the blaze sound. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If they changed the blaze sound like they've done the SKS. John, dude, holy shit, man. Thank you very much for the gifted sub bomb. That's insanely kind, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, you crazy bastard, you. Thank you very, very, very much, man. John, thank you very much for the continued support, dude. John, uh, for those that don't know, uh, was the top contributor, uh, not single, but top in total for the uh, fundraising stream in December as well. Dude, thank you very, very, very much, man. On both counts. Anyone else still getting fireworks nightly? No.
Uh, Magico, thank you for the four months. Spanky, thank you very much for the uh, for the gifted sub. Thank you, dude. Holy shit, dude. Steady on. I'll be here all year, okay? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Thank you very, very much, dude. You crazy bastard. I haven't got any other words than thank you. They, that's not quite enough, is it, really? But, dude, you're insanely generous. Thank you. I don't know why I shut that door. Uh, thanks a lot, John. Dude, very, very kind indeed. Quick reminder, guys, that the stream schedule is normally Sunday through to Thursday. Uh, I, I've done Saturday through to Thursday this week, but I am off tomorrow and uh, tomorrow and Satur Saturday this week. So uh, I've got my kids coming tomorrow, and it's my 14-year-old's birthday on Sunday. Uh, bringing the tone down a little bit, but rather unfortunately, Sunday is the anniversary of my dad dying as well. So my daughter's birthday, and then I've got to try and fit in seeing my mum. Which, thinking about it, I'm not, I can't say either way, but it's possible I might not be streaming Sunday, just thinking about it now. I, I've not got anything planned yet, but I need to make sure I see my mum as well as uh, uh, Sophie as well. I don't really want to miss a stream, but that, that's a, a decent enough reason, so we'll see how we go. We haven't got anything planned, but, like, for example, if I don't stream, I could take... Like, I normally start streaming about 2 o'clock, right? The kids get picked up at 2 o'clock. But if I, uh, if I don't, I could start... If I don't start, I could uh, take my mum and the kids and my missus out for a meal or something like that. Because uh, I don't really want my mum to be on her own. She'll, she'll be thinking about it more than everybody else will, you know? I should have took that bottle. I should have took that bottle for making... Uh... Oh, dude, I, which... Was it in one of the things? I, I've got a... I can make an improvised suppressor for the SKS, can't I? Get your mum to stream. She can't be any worse at PvP than me, can she? I think it was on the top shelf, wasn't it? Second to last heart. Yeah, this one then. All right. How do you deal with the kids being picky with meals? It's really tricky, dude. That I, I don't think kids got that privilege when I was a kid, and I think every parent say that, but I think you, you try to win your battles. There's nothing more tedious than the, you're not leaving the t table until you've eaten that carrot. And I've had that with one of mine. The one that's her birthday, actually, the older one. She was the fussy eater, you know, like... The whole, when you're not having any dessert unless you eat seven peas and a carrot, you know, right? The bargaining over what's on their plate thing is really frustrating, but I think trying to instill, instill it upon them without getting to that point is quite good, but I, I, I've probably gone a bit more like finding the things that they like that are healthy or not so bad and, and trying to find other things that link in with it, I suppose, really, but... I'm not very keen on just chicken nuggets and fucking chips every every time they're here. They don't get that really, but that I think if my eldest daughter had a choice, she'd have fucking chicken nuggets every day. Uh Dubai Mason, holy shit, dude. Uh cheers for the support, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you for the fifty fifty bomb as well, you crazy bastard. Thank you. I don't really like chicken nuggets, Pagged. You're saying they're pretty good. I don't like them. Thanks a lot, Dubai Mason. Dude, thank you very much indeed. Jamie, Jamie Oliver's chicken nugget video is peak. Isn't that the one where he sits a load of kids in front of him and says... And shows them exactly how chicken nuggets is, are made. And, and he's trying to shock them into it. And he's showing them this like horrible pink paste. And going, and this is how nuggets are made. And at the end of it he goes, now who would like some nuggets? And they all just put their hands up. <laughs> I'll have some. <laughs> yeah, me, me, pick me. 
I think that's it, isn't it? Kids don't like eating, you've got to try and make it fun for them. Some do, some don't. You know, my two kids are like chalk and cheese. One will try anything, and if she likes it, she'll like it. If she doesn't, she doesn't. The 12 year old, for example, quite likes it like a mild curry. She'll she'll try anything, you know. Like, she, she's got. She's uh, more adventurous, but I honestly think it's not really about what kids are like. I think it's like, like some kids are much more sensitive, you know. They, they say you get something called super tasters, right? Where they're like. Like something that's a bit salty is incredibly over salty for someone that's got the right taste buds, you know. Uh, you, what you experience when you eat something isn't the same as what somebody else experiences, you know. So I don't think it's worth worrying about too much, you know. Like trying to force them to eat something they just won't eat is not worth it. Every time I come here and do this, I kind of think to myself, I really should have uh, overwatched from the hill. Anyway, here we go. Love your content. You're a great guy. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Dell. Cheers for the support. Dubai Mason and John, both of you guys. Thank you for the support, you insane bastards. I haven't got a suppressor, have I? He's going to turn round. Metric, yeah, Maggie, my 12-year-old, has just messaged me saying she's done exactly that today. So I can't play any, uh... Where's that thing going? I thought that was a player, to be honest. January, it's going well, but the missus says earth wise. Apparently, I'm even more of an old miserable that long after the last mile. Maybe that's my excuse, Snapback. I'm, I've, I've not started at the start of January. I failed. I started and failed, but I'm on 12 days now. So I, I guess I started on the 15th. Something like that. 16th, I suppose. But yeah, I'm, I'm 12 days, no alcohol for me. GG, though, dude. Long may it continue. I'm not going to do just a month, though. I intend to do quite a long time. Intending to do and actually doing may well be two different things, of course, but that's the intention right now. There has to be a zombie with a plate carrier, right? Fucking fuck. That's so annoying when they do that. I hate that so much. Uh, 
Wait, why wasn't there a fucking... I'd already got the inventory open to check his dead body for loot. That's the new gun. We found Vicky. If I could possibly describe myself in a few sentences, fucking hell. That's the Vicky. I'm not going to shoot Vicky just yet, but we definitely need to keep her. So now, now we actually do have a mission. That's what I, we've finally been given a mission. We need to find as many s, s uh, whatever they are, nine by thirty-nine bullets as we can. Pretty sure it's yeah, it's AK scopes. That makes sense. But we need to find as many nine by thirty-nine as we can. And on top of that, we need to uh, find a thirty-round mag if we can. A stab vest would very much help me right now as well. Sorry, not a stab vest, a plate carrier. There's usually several plate carrier zombies here. That'll, that'll sort out the wheat from the chaff. I'm very pleased we found Vicky, though. That's good news. I'm going to drop the NBC loot. I can't be bothered with the NBC stuff. to see if it would kill it or not. Just, I, I intentionally shot it in the chest. Sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds really good. So that's the kind of cool thing about it, I think, more than anything else. It's obviously firing 9x39, but it's not got a suppressor, so unlike the VSS and the... Uh, AS Val, it, it's not you're not pick you're not picking it up for any other reason than to just be like a a close quarters gun. But now they've added the uh, ooh, pack back. I can fit that in now. Now they've added the thirty round mag, so they've added a mag specifically for it. It's called the Vicky mag. It also fits the Val and the VSS though, but there is a thirty round mag available, so that'll be pretty good. Now, when someone says, have you found the new gun? I can say, yes, yes, I have. And they'll go, have you got a kill with it? I'll go, no, no, I haven't. <laughs> so it's actually called uh, Vicar. 
But it looks like Vicky, doesn't it? Let's it's just just call it Vicky. The AK handguard won't go on the AK I've got, dude, because the uh, the baby AK doesn't take a handguard. The baby AK, you can change the buttstock, but you can't do anything with the handguard. It's it's attached. Special, uh, special of Mr. Keys. Snapback, thank you very much for the support. Dell guy as well. Uh, thank you very, very much, guys. Are you doing something with AI? <laughs> he sent me a picture of a dog cleaning carpet. An AI picture. That guy is too thin. You need to add about... Well, I was younger then, actually. I was quite thin at the time. But yeah. <laughs> God, AI can do anything, can't it? Almost been a year. Crazy how time flies when you're eating bacon and crafting splints. Keep on running T R M Z O N M E. I I don't think the uh, I don't think the AI fully understood that the dog was ill. Fix Vicky. I could fix Vicky, but without a mag, there seems little point. I'll fix Vicky when we've got a mag. Fixed red line. AI is not that advanced. How's the stream going today? Pretty good. We just found the Vicky. Look, see? Compact. Like, what does it say? A compact firearm heavily influenced by the AS Valen VSS. It can carry side mounted optics but lacks an integral suppressor. Uses 9x39 runes. I presume it takes the bottle suppressor. When the new new gun jams, it's sticky, Vicky. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Zero, if you want, if you want a server where you, you're less likely to get killed instantly, then Karma Crew might be the one for you, dude. They've slightly changed the damage system so that you don't get one tapped quite so easily. It's not my personal preference, but for what you just said, it might be yours, though. So you could try Karma Crew, spelt with a K, like Karma, and Crew, spelt with a K, like Karma. Adam, you can find 9x39 sometimes. It depends on the day on the server, but you can find boxes of it some days. But yeah, uh, bullet availability might be a slight challenge, but we'll see. Oh, now we can fix Vicky. Look sharp. I can't keep clicking on them, Red Die. I have to alt-tab every time. Discord is the place. <laughs> it's called the Vicar of Dibley. Ooh. That looks like uh, Hugh, Hugh Laurie a little bit. <laughs> See, look, every time I do that, the screen goes blank. Kicked off the game, so connection with host lost. Uh, my, my dog's cuter than that. Right, I've got to go for a minute. I'll be back in a sec.
been the service ball. Robo says only in I suppress it. Yeah, that's 14 probably. months. Time for a sticky vicky killy killy. Perhaps I, I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Mr. Evil, thank you for the 14 months. Flashing red. Cheers for the almost a year, dude. <clears throat> Feel like Running Man should rap over that beat. By me. I would do, and I would do. I, I've got natural, uh, natural rapability, but uh, I can't hear it. Otherwise, I would do it right now. I have to say, Nero's done a good job because so many people are going. It sounds like Goldeneye when that's exactly what he meant. You know, that's kind of cool. You should camp that roof and talk people into jumping. I think the problem there, dude, is that if you camp that roof, talking people into jumping. Whoever you talked into jumping would come back and not be very happy. Uh, sir, sir, well, thank you. Cheers for coming in. I know I checked it before, but I'm just going to double, double check. There's no loot down here. There's no convoy. It spawns just on this kind of corner here. You just talk them into doing it again. Dude, you were so close last time. I think you just got the line a bit wrong. Try just a little bit more to the right. <laughs> Alright, let's fix Vicky. It's Survivor spelt dead you are fiver that's not survivor dude i guess i can see it survivor actually i do see it sorry i do see it i'm never going to get that into my brain because so many people use fives as s's but I'll, I'll try and remember but yeah survivor yeah i get it i do see it now dude it took me a little minute though it's the age no survivor right castle for a tundra Ah, fuck the castle for a tundra. We're going West Evac. West Evac we're going for a mag for, for Sticky Vicky. Zerfa. <laughs> ah, Silver, thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support, Silver. Thank you very much for tuning in, Mr. Evil. Uh, cheers for the support as well. Exactly, Uncle Food. That as well. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you're hearing some squeaking, I'm using the squeaky bottle today. Squeaky bottle. The Contigo bottle. What has a like a little baby bottle like nubbin, but it squeaks. Did you see watches of Switzerland shares are at an, a four-year low this morning, down 32%? I didn't reckless read, but I'm not surprised. Uh, the the uh, demand for watches has dropped, so I, I think they are they are uh, they're not in desperate times or anything. You know, whatever whatever Rolex they get, they'll sell. But I'd imagine they're selling a lot fewer of, of everything else. You know. Well, I say that they not. Like, whatever steel will get they'll sell. Due to poor performance on their mid-tier market, yeah. The, the demand is definitely gone. I, I was I was trying to sell a sell a Brightling. Uh, and, like, the price the price that it would sell for, it just wasn't worth selling. The, 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 the market has gone down so much. In the end, I'm kind of glad I kept it anyway. Has there been a short of risks? No, it's just the it's the cost of living crisis, the increase in like 
kind of people that buy fancy watches also, believe it or not, still have mortgages. Everyone's mortgage payments have gone up loads. Everyone's tightening their purse strings. And when purse strings get tightened, luxury goods get not bought. Just kind of common sense, you know. Some things go up. Like, people stop buying really crazy luxuries, but they buy cheaper luxuries. Like, uh, like chocolate. Like, in a recession, the price, like chocolate sales go up. Because people have, like, little mini treats. Reckless read, yeah, crypto will have a little bit of a bearing. And, and the stock market in general has is, is not exactly done brilliant, but... But those people also buy electric cars and gluten-free bed. I don't, I don't know what you mean. Oh, great. I think we'll go, we'll go to the castle, shall we? Something about the military base being gassed makes me not want to go. That's the military base there. Just came back from my ski holidays, and what better way could there be to a read than a TRMZ stream? What a flex that is. Just, what a flex, Klaus Nick. Just come back from my ski holidays. Uh, just slid down my ducktails uh, ducktail slide into my pile of gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm only pulling you, like, dude. Uh, congratulations. I hope you had a good time. That is cool. I haven't got the balance for uh, for skiing. I've just got back from Asda, Tropshire. You, you strike me more as a, a discerning Aldi or Little customer to me. Reckless Reed, yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, well, they're not selling to flippers so much. Like you say, the flippers aren't prepared to take a risk, you know, like. Like if you could, you could buy any old date just and and go and sell it the next day for more money. So they would sell anything and everything, right? You're absolutely right. Whereas now, the the market has flattened some, and and the profits are lower, and the risk is higher. So like you could flip gold watches and stuff. You know, I'm not talking about me here, by the way, people. But people would do that. They would they would go and buy a whatever a, a gold Daytona and then go and sell it for more money. You can't do that now, can you? Which I think is good, really. The, the watch market has been fucking ridiculous. It's, it's like it in all sorts of things as well. They, I keep seeing Instagrams from wide boys going, Oh, the second-hand car market. This time last year, this cost this car would have cost you 90 grand. Now you can pick one up for 35. Wah! <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the car market. It's like, like Porsches were selling like... A year old, crazy more than they cost new. They're not anymore, I don't think. Reckless, I'm surprised. I've seen one of them in a store that was for sale recently, dude. I reckon if you went round about 10 Rolex ADs, if you rang round, I bet you'd get one instantly. They, they, are, they are in stock in one or two places, though, so I'm sure of it. Not my cup of tea. I've tried one on once. Not not with the intention of buying. I was just at some evening where there was watches. Not for me. It's a bit too gaudy. That's personal taste, though. Some people pull those off, you know. If you've got uh, the right look, I know just can't pull it off. Have I found the new gun yet? Nope. I haven't found the new gun. Thanks for that metric. Talk about making the guy feel feel good. You sound like a fellow we had in the cells last night. He was a knob too. Not surprised with you around, you cheeky bastard. That's not the military train. I'm not going to bother. Wasn't it damaged and now it's worn? Yeah, I fixed it. My bad. But my dad bought me a Lamborghini instead of a Ferrari. I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, poor Vu. It uses the same bullets as the S S AS Val and the VSS, the 9x39.
It comes as you see it there, Callum. Yeah, it comes like that. I just need to try and find a mag. Which we're not going to find here. The gawky bars are on me. It's a beauty. Oh my god, that's annoying. It won't go back in. Need to find a mag for the gun. Maybe we should just go to the airfield. I think we could go to the airfield, don't you? Like, that's all taken up. I reckon we go to the airfield and that's where we're going to get the mag. Fuck it. Airfield. Airfield is the answer. Let's this, go. Is, this is the Are way. You impressed by Ange Ball? I've not seen a lot of Tottenham play, but I think he's doing okay. I do think he might be a touch gung-ho in the long run. I, I think uh, this whole, we're going to play my way and I don't care if we go down to eight men. Uh, we're going to still play my way. I, I think you get a free pass at that this year, but if next year it's not working, he might be in bother. But I think he's doing all right. I think he's doing okay. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how they go. He's the, he's the most interesting manager Spurs have had for a good while, isn't he? You know, I think that's kind of cool. He's got something about him, you know. I think he'll be all right. If he's got a bit of flair in the transfer market, then things will go pretty well. Will I be playing streaming other games in the future? Only when there's money in it. <laughs> no. I, I hear TRMZ only plays other games when he's sponsored. That's what I hear. No. It depends what it is, dude. It really depends what it is. Like, if there's another survival game on the horizon, yeah, I'll try it. But I've tried all the others and then I ended up back on the game that I love. So, we'll see. Yeah, I think I think at Celtic he got he did pretty well by buying some players from Japan, didn't he? Did he come from Japan, or I might have got the country wrong? But didn't he buy a lot of go buy some players that really hit the ground running and it really transformed Celtic? Do you ever wear women's watches? Uh, no, I, it depends what you call a woman's watch. I'd I'd wear a thirty-six mil watch, but I, I wouldn't wear a watch designed for a lady. It'd probably be a bit not for me, but. Some people consider like a Rolex Explorer 36 Miller woman's watch. I don't. Like some old classic watches, like the the date just sorry the day, day date that Tony Soprano wore was 36 mil. You know that's not a woman's watch. Sorry guys, one sec. When are we one v one in Mark One? Never. Casually ignoring a car with potential players around. I didn't even notice the car, dude. I'm, I'm just, I'm beelining it to the airfield and reading the chat and giving not two shits. I just hope I don't get shot in the back. <laughs> I, 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 I'd need about ten hours of practice to remember any of the moves for Mortal Kombat. I was in, uh, I was in White City. Uh, you won't know where this is, I guess, Deep Bear, but I was in a shopping centre in White City on New Year's Eve. And I went into this uh, trainer shop. My missus wanted to have a look in this trainer shop. It was one of those places that sell night trainers in Blister, and they're like £500 for a pa pair of trainers that got discontinued. You know, like, 
I wouldn't buy a pair of trainers in there if I was a gazillionaire. I don't. I, I'm not a trainer collector. I'm a trainer wearer. Anyway, it was that time kind of shop, and we just went in for a look. And inside that shop, they had a uh, a Mortal Kombat arcade that you could play. And I played as Raiden, and I started a round, and I couldn't remember how to do anything that Raiden did. I, I couldn't remember how to do any of the moves or anything. I couldn't remember any of it. Ever played No One Survived? I have not, Skunk. No, that's not one I'm familiar with. You got an arcade stick, did you? Very cool. Back, back, forward, forward. See, I couldn't remember. I think I was trying Street Fighter style moves, like down and rolling to the to forwards and pressing punch and such like, you know. Google is your friend, but I honestly, Jambon, the idea that I'd be in a shop full of kids looking at trainers they couldn't afford, or maybe could, absolutely probably could, you know, but that's by the by. Uh, the idea that whilst I'm in there, old man looks at phone to find out the moves for Raiden. No, I, it, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Do I like Battle Royale games? Uh, yes and no. I enjoyed PUBG uh, a, a little bit. I, I, I don't I don't enjoy them for long. PUBG was fun when it was really early. PUBG when there was only one map. That was that was uh, peak peak PUBG for me personally. Maybe not for everyone, but. Uh, sniper, I've only died once. I've only died once today, but I uh, the stream crashed. So I've, it says I've been live three hours and forty minutes. I've actually been live just over six hours. Did I ever go up against Doctor Disrespect on PUBG? No. Not the right time of day. They were always on in the evening in the UK, and I was normally on in the afternoon. I don't think I ever had a fight against another streamer. That's certainly not another one that was known, but. It was so it's so unlikely in those days. The game was so popular. The chances of joining a lobby with somebody that you knew was quite small, you know. Should play with a PUBG streamer. I don't really want to play PUBG anymore, you know. And I, I, uh, I enjoyed watching it for a while after I played it. Like back in the the halcyon days when, before Shroud moved to Mixer. I know he's back now and has been for ages. But when Shroud and Doctor Disrespect were still on Twitch, that was that was kind of I quite enjoyed watching it. Never mind playing it. Another one bites the dust. Love. Exactly, Redline. I've already reached absolutely peak. I wanted I want a duos with someone that can't hardly see. <laughs> Don't get any better than that. <laughs> Trout's not a mixer now, no. How many hours would you say to be comfortable in, comfortable in DayZ? I think I knew the map a little bit after a couple of hundred hours, but knowing the map a little bit and knowing the map really well is two different things. But it does take a good few hours to get, get comfy in DayZ. It's not a game two you pick years. up instantly. Thanks for everything. There aren't many games where you've played it for 50 hours. and there's DayZ's not complex, but there's, the maps are so big. Just the map learning can take a good while, you know? Winnie's no, I died. I, it's the uh, last death! Exclamation! Last death! I was I, it, I was looking for a gas mask actually, which strangely enough is in there.
Uh, premature. Did you miss my opinion on Fortnite? I've never played it, dude. If if I if I started trying to build one of those Fortnite tower dealies on on Fortnite, I think my brain would spontaneously combust. Like the idea that I'd start building. I know there are no build versions and whatnot, but nonetheless, the idea that I would play that game and actually do it. But no, not for me. Maybe 10 or 15 years ago. I have watched a bit of Fortnite. Again, back in the day. I think, uh, what's the name of the dude that does, uh, let's get right into the news. That guy. Ooh. He hosted some PUBG, not PUBG, he hosted some Fortnite tournaments. Uh, and I, I watched a little bit of some of those. Keemstar, yeah, they, thank you. I watched a few of the tournaments that he was behind or involved with. Uh, that's the way it can go, Borg. Sometimes there are no shots. I know I'm on a full server because when I got back just now, the, I, I was in a queue. Rimo, I don't do any gaming off stream, really. I sometimes play the odd little thing with my kids. I've got a Nintendo Switch on the horizon, and I might have a little go at that from time to time. But I don't do PC gaming when I'm uh, when I'm not streaming, because my PC is obviously in a little home office or a studio, I suppose. And I spend five to six days in here as it is. So when I get some downtime, I want to be out of the room and doing other things, you know. How long have I been into video games? Forever. I, I, I played an Amstrad when I was a lad. Had a Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, Amiga 500. What do I play with my kids? Mario Kart and stuff like that. Mostly Mario Kart. They, they, they haven't brought their Switch for a little while, but I've got one coming here. I, I won one with some Twitch incentive thing. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably get like the latest Zelda and play that through myself at some point, you know. That's a duo, I think it is. I haven't seen a Keemstar video forever. I don't know if they still do drama a lot or not, but I haven't I haven't seen one. It was an Amstrad CPC 464, yeah. I didn't play Metal Gear Solid. I think it came out on PlayStation 2 from what I remember. And after the PlayStation 1, I had a big gap where I didn't do any gaming. And then I got a PlayStation 3 and got back into it. Animal Kingdom, eh? Very cool. Lol Cow Lao, live. Okay. I don't know what that is. Bruticus, very cool. Uh, Average Joe, the 30 round mag will go in the Val and the BSS, yeah. I haven't really looked at what games to get, but I always liked Zelda. I always liked Zelda Load, so I probably will get that. Moose Beans, I've played some Tarkov. There's one or two kind of crappy videos on my YouTube channel of me playing Tarkov, but I, I, I haven't played Tarkov for three years or so. It might even be four years in March, but I, I get bored of Tarkov, dude. I, I, I get so far and then I'm fed up of it. I've not played all the Zeldas, Nim. I've played the first one and I've played one of the others. I've not played many. I just know I like them. So I guess my favourite was the first one. Bethesda are doing a stream at the moment announcing an Indiana Jones game. Ooh. How do you see Paul's my graphic settings? Type exclamation settings in the chat. Somebody else will probably beat you to it, but Oh, the first Zelda was amazing. I didn't have it. It was a I was a I was pretty young when the first Zelda came out. Well, as in still at school. So I I, I couldn't get every game imaginable and I didn't have Zelda, but my mate did, so 
uh, he lent it to me for long enough so that I could complete it on my own. That was cool. I really enjoyed it. What was my favourite game on the... Uh, Beach Buggy rings a bell. I really enjoyed Beach Buggy. We didn't have that many games. I played Beach Buggy quite a lot. And I played, uh, like, Roland on the Ropes and Caves and those ones. But, uh, like, Jet Set Willy, I think I had, and Chucky Egg and one or two others. But I can't really remember. It's such a long time ago. I was, like, six, seven, eight when we had that. I can't remember the games I played for that very much. I've not heard of that one, Sip, no. Right, I'm probably going to try and just ease off from reading the chat just for a minute. <gasps> yeah, I might get a Mario as well. I haven't played I haven't played a Mario for all. I've got to be honest, I really like the, the 2D Marios, but the 3D ones I never really enjoy so much. I, I don't think they're as good, or I, I never enjoyed them as much. Like the early ones, the NES and early Super Nintendo 2D ones were much more fun. So I, one of the reasons I wanted to come here was specifically for this. I just thought it would be a really good place to maybe get that fat loops. There's a new 2D Mario, is there? I didn't even know there was one. Shoot that. Oh, that sucks. I had I had a I could have gone with that, couldn't I? I had a mag. I just dropped a baby AK. Also seen a Sega. I'm wearing the new helmet, yeah. I remember uttering these words a while ago. I don't care if I die. I'm drinking every I'm drinking every can of drink. I don't know if I should utter those words again. I might regret it. Very quiet. I think maybe the uh, the interest in camp in the airfield has kind of died down a bit. Like it wasn't so long ago. Every time you came here, there was somebody camping the ATC. It doesn't seem to be such a thing anymore. Come on. 
Oh, there's another one. Shit. Imagine if you just popped and drank this many sodas, like full sugar ones, back to back. You'd be like fucking buzzing like a bastard hummingbird, I think. Oh, we didn't exactly get some uh, good loot out of it, but time to go. Right, the UMP is solely a zombie killer, so it can stay semi-auto. I heard a lot more AK rounds than I thought. I still got another two boxes as well. The SKS sounds absolutely, it sounds a bit like a DMR. It sounds insanely powerful. There was a drum man back there, but I, I don't want the Vega. <laughs> Something we need to bear in mind is that whilst they've quietened the suppressor sounds, they've quietened them for pistols, not for UMPs, so... The bullet impacts will still be quieter, but the... Uh, The sound of the gun being heard is, is going to be the same as it was on the last patch. took them. The presses get ruined so quick, don't they? There's a bit there's an AK there. Okay, holy shit. It's already loaded. There's the the Vicky. That's the second one we found. It's not got a mag though. Sounded good, didn't it? Right, the SKS has been made a new sound. I think we have to, like, like I don't know what time, what time is it? It's nearly nine o'clock. I don't want to die, but I'm definitely going to shoot the SKS a bit because it's loud as fuck. And we need to shoot. We need to shoot it before I uh, before I drop it because I can't even though it's got a new noise. 
I'm not taking the uh, the SKS over an AK-74. So I'll just oh shit! I'll just shoot it a few times in a minute. Another one. Uh, Shags, thank you. Cheers for the Bezos bucks, dude. Appreciate it, man. That's badly damaged. I'm not fixing that just yet. You know what? I ought to fix it. It'll, it'll bite me on the ass if I don't. Can it be called the Vicar? No, it's Vicky. You can call it Vicar, but I say Vicky. Uh, Sam's View, thank you for the 36 months. Jack Gunner, thank you very much for the support, dude. Cheers for the two year inning. Pollard, blimey. I had one out this way. No. I could hear a zombie out. Oh, there he is. <gasps> How cool is that? That's an SKS. Is there anything I can do to get used to playing with keyboard when I have been playing on console for years? Uh, I say it to everyone, but an MMO mouse and watch my video called The Best Mouse Setup for Day Z. It kind of goes into it in more detail, but it's an old video in the old game, but it all still applies today with the exception of the zooming. So watch that video and just ignore the bit about the scope zooming, but everything else still exactly rings true. And if you're a console player, it will help you load. I do have an AK rail, you're right, Julia. Beyond that, it just it just feels really weird and kind of foreign and you just gotta you gotta keep doing it over and over and over and gradually build up your muscle memory. I haven't dropped the new gun, I've got it in my uh Yeah in there. Now, in a minute I'm going to die, and it's going to be because I'm parading around shooting SKS bullets at the airfield, but someone's going to be all smart and like, eee. I know I'm going to die, but I'm doing it anyway. Maybe we won't die. But we're in TRMZ fuck it time, and I, I kind of want to uh, shoot the SKS some more, and I, I really need to drop it, so we'd best shoot it some more really quite quick, haven't we?
I really would like the new 30 round mag. We're finding the guns here. So there has to be a reasonable chance we'll find the uh, the mags here. It might be a tier 4 spawning item. When we were playing with that dude the other day, he found one at West Evac, didn't he? There could, have, there could have been one in Crook's, Crook's container, but not today. I have to take all the cans. I have to. I don't know why it's become my thing, but if there's cans, I have to drink them. I don't think loot spawns inside the plane, dude. Pretty sure it doesn't. The only thing that might be inside the plane is what people may have dropped there. Reminding me yesterday that I can't renew my Prime subscription on the app. Thank you for renewing at all, dude. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Uh, Alok, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. JG, thank you for the bits, dude. Sam's you and Jack before that. Thanks very much. Check the green box outside. Yeah, all in good time. Good. Gonna get me nice and sharp. As to lose, uh, you can't. If you if you're on an Apple phone for definite, you can't use the the app. You, you can't. It's not always. Anyway, lots of people can't do it, dude. You could do it in Safari, but you can't do it inside the app. Getting stomachache from watching, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> this character looks fucking cool, doesn't he? Look at it. Look, he looks really good. I'd love to be able to fix the helmet up so that it matched properly. Helmet's damaged. It it, it matches the t-shirt. Sorry, the shirt if it's damaged, but I don't want that. Oh, there's more drinks here. The drum mag. Something's wrong, you know. I, I need to have another look at, like, making sure, like, my update, my Windows update yesterday. Things are a bit framey, unless it's the patch. I don't think it is, but... I'm getting a little bit of jitteriness playing the game today, and I wasn't getting it before. I had a Windows update when I logged the PC off last night. And something's jittery. Something's not not right. I've done the... Uh, I've not been alive long enough to make it worth bother, bothering, Kadu. Uh, I, I've, I've done the NVIDIA update today for the graphics driver. So I don't know what it is, but something's amiss.
Hoodie Ninja. Well, I was playing around with that earlier. The game, whatever it is, is turned off. But the game bar, I, I couldn't find a... My, all I'd got on the game bar as an option was to turn on whether I wanted the controller to activate it or not. Like, there was no on or off for the game bar at all in the settings. I couldn't find where it was, to be honest, so... Jambon, no, I, I can't get a be better GPU than a 4090. There isn't one. It's not the hardware that's the problem, it's something with the, the, up the update to Windows yesterday. Is it possible to sound a little too beefy? I, I think it sounds more powerful than it is, which I think is probably what people are saying. It sounds more powerful. It sounds more powerful than uh, a foul. So in the balance of the game, it sounds crazy, crazy good for how good it actually is. But it sounds so cool, you know? I think it's nice that it sounds this good. Indefinitely. It does sound very DMR-like, I agree. have many more bullets left to be honest. This is fun, I ain't gonna lie. I am on a full pop server running around shooting the SKS, which is not smart, but... Under the floorboards, dude, it, it does take a while to get used to Daisy. It really, really does. You'll get there, but plenty of patience, you know. It takes quite a lot of hours. Like, you watch people streaming it or whatever, and, and they just sort of start and know where to go and find stuff, and they get... Like, you'll see people that have been playing an hour, and they've already got what you've never had gear-wise and stuff, and it takes a while to get to that, but you, you do. You do get to it. I've only got 13 more bullets left for the SKS, so the SKS fun is nearly over.
Kill mice. I feel like this gun is gonna. I'm. I feel like this is like you say psychosomatic. I didn't. I didn't catch the entire message, but I feel like I'm gonna do better with the SKS. And I even. I even said as much yesterday. I feel like it might scare the other players more. You know, like. Like, when I was shot at, I got killed by an SKS the other day, and I was talking to the guy and said, why, I've only got a shotgun and you've got a DMR. And then he told me it was an SKS, right? I didn't know. But the fear factor does make you, it does make you different. That was fun. I wish I'd killed him a tiny bit sooner. Simon, well I'm having quite a lot of fun, but you're right, it is weird that it's this empty. And I am on, a, like I was saying just now, I'm on a full pop server. So for it to be this empty is kind of unheard of really, it's kind of stupid. maxed out my hydration look my hydration's maxed i think my energy's maxed yeah i've maxed them both out i've maxed my energy and hydration out <coughs> with with cans here. of pop i've maxed my energy and hydration just with soda i don't know if i've ever done that before and i was already white and white but nonetheless it's gone up way more because of the sodas time to drop these. Uh, I've been picking up crappy bullets. I think we need to drop them. And they're not crappy. They're good, but I'm not I'm not going to take a Mose in. I'd take an SVD, but they only spawn in the gas zone, so what's the point? I'm not going to a gas zone. I want to use the Vicky. Even here, this isn't looted. Exit. It's not.
It's definitely not. I'm just checked. I'm guessing Tissy is the place for, for the 30 round Vicky mag. I bet it's tier 4 only. I'm not going to check the whole airfield. I'm going to check these. Well, it's not barracks over here anymore, is it? I don't think. I think it's a camo building, but there's a barrack and a camo building over here. I'm going to check that, and then after that, I think I'm going to go to Tissy, which is where we died yesterday. I've got better gear today, but it's where we died yesterday. What's the longest run staying alive in DayZ? Streaming is different to, to any other time, so... But I've, I've lived six slash seven streams on the bounce a few times. I've had a couple of Deer Isle runs in the last couple of years that have lasted a very long time. And years and years ago, I, I there's a character... There's a video on my channel called Jackpot. My first SVD and Daisy standalone, that was about seven days running. And, uh, or seven streams running. There's another character called, there's a four part series called Going Underground. Uh, and the series was made, I'd been alive for about 16, 17 hours. And then I started making the videos, so it, I'd lived for quite a long time on those two lives. Long time ago, but 30 to 35 hours, which isn't very long, but in the context of someone that usually runs to all of the shots, like straight towards them always, that, that is quite a long time. Why wasting time running to Tissy when you can die in Starry? Because Vicky, Vicky Mags ain't going to be in Starry, that's why. A lot, finding lots of evidence of dropped loot and dropped stuff from players and whatnot, but no players. Living a long time can involve luck, but it also involves a lot of choice. You know, I don't play a playstyle that is conducive to living a long time. I also don't shoot very well half the time as well. You know, so, <laughs> but. As somebody just said, if, if you if you try to survive and you know the game, you could live hundreds of hours, you know. If you just prioritise staying alive always, maybe not if you're streaming. Whoop W H O P P less than three any discount for seventy seventh month cheeky smiley face. towards the heli. It's... I'm really struggling with the frames today. It wasn't like this yesterday. I think it might be... It, I think it might be my up... Uh, my PC. Not my tech, I mean my tech is fine, but something has changed since yesterday's Windows update. 
it's not affecting the shooting. My shooting was a, was about like normal there. If not, it's maybe slightly better. That's not. But it's framey as fuck. And this is Chernerus. It's not Alteria or something. This is weird. I, I think not funky somehow. Ah, oh, sorry guys, I pressed the wrong fucking button. Jambon, it's not the frames being low, it's all jittery. I like, I, I could be on 80 frames, but it's not right. Layer of death. I have a 4090 and a 13900K. My PC is a beast. Barjack, but I've been playing experimental all week. Today's the only day I've had it and there's been no experimental update, so I don't buy that. I think like I've been playing on this server well, a couple of servers, but this one I played on on Tuesday, I played yesterday, I played today, you know. I only had a Windows update yesterday and now my frames are worse and it, I, the patch hasn't changed. My PC update did, so, you know, so. No, I don't think it's the driver update. I was having problems before the driver update. The driver update just didn't fix it. Otter, mo more people play uh, on official servers. Sorry, more people play on community servers, but they don't necessarily need to be modded. There are community servers with no mods. For example, Spaggy runs some Chernera servers that aren't modded. Adam Sandler's in a, a new new film where he plays a serious role, is he? Hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday, weren't we? MJ's, I think Spaggy's Chernera servers get full in the evenings and weekends, dude. I don't think that's true. I think it's a safe idea to uh, put something in my keyboard and auto run so I can clean my glasses. On, it's a Netflix, is it? That's good. So I, I can watch it. Basement. Right, I've cleaned my glasses. <clears throat> Thankfully we didn't get shot. Fucking hell, my hydration and hunger are still going up and down from those cans of drink. That's crazy. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm all right, dude. Pretty good. Did I buy Northwest Airfield? It feels like it, doesn't it? Tokila, well, uh, I, I uh, definitely utilise the, the PC I bought, but I don't think it's fair to say that people that spend over 1.5k don't. I know some people, uh, for example, Spaggy, who has really high-end PCs, and more than one, and he knows more about PCs than most people do and works in IT, dude. Like, for some people, uh, PC is their love, it's their, their thing, you know. Some people... Like every new gra every every time there's a new graphics card, they will want to upgrade to the very latest best one. They don't need it, but that's their thing, you know. Like, I, th I think that's a fairly broad stroke to suggest that people that buy high-end stuff don't know what they're doing. I I'm not sure that's true. There are plenty of people that do know what they're doing, and there are plenty of people that don't. I'm only a bit of a half faster. I I don't know what I'm doing fully.
Nico, I have no idea. If you mean what percentage of the total time are you around to interacting with players, not not huge. If you mean like teaming up and whatnot, it's hard to say. And I teamed up with someone today, uh, which would probably equate to 5% of the stream, but then he tried to jump off a building for some unknown reason. Under the floorboards, yeah, I, I make friends in the game sometimes. I made a friend earlier, and then I suggested he could jump from somewhere to the sea, knowing full well he couldn't, and then watched him plunge to his death. <laughs> but other times, most of the time, I don't do that kind of thing. my nemesis. Field transceiver. I'm keeping the... Oh no, I'll take it. I, I like... No, no, I can't. I want the new helmet. I don't care. There is definitely something to be said for helicopter crash sites not being as good. I know there's an AK there, to be fair, so that's not bad, but it spawned right next to the airfield where there was already two AKs. It's not really something you need, but with the convoys, the convoy loot seems so much better and the heli loot seems so much shitter. Convoy loot is way better than heli loot. Maybe convoys are harder to find. Did I miss Andy? Did I, you saw MVGs, did you? Oh. I might have to take the other helmet then. There was an M4 backup site. Yeah, I don't think... Is that what you're thinking is MVGs? I don't think there's MVGs. No MVGs. Nice. No, I even saw the backup site. Oh well. Honestly, I wouldn't have expected uh, people to think that was MVGs. Never mind. Temporary ban them. Now that seems harsh. Shame, shame. I like that emo. That's good, isn't it? Where are we at? 20 past 9. It's weird. I feel like I should be eating. One sec, guys.
teleported. RMT, yeah, I uh, I tried to do... I've been getting some issues with frames today. And I, I, I guess I could check whether it's my rig or whether it's the game. I could just try playing stable for a while and just see if it's the same, but... Uh, I don't want to do that now. But I've been getting, like, stuttering today, which I've not had before. And I tried to fix it with a with a shadow play, so not shadow play, sorry, a, a graphics card driver update, but that didn't. I can't believe all of those shots didn't kind of incentivize someone to come and find us. I'm staggered. I did it. Like I say, I, the stream crashed because of the new NVIDIA drivers. I did the NVIDIA update this morning, or this afternoon. Uh, Bass Bomber, thank you very much. Uh, Great Farmer, thank you for the sub winning. Strayflave, thank you for the 104 months, dude. Holy shit. Second 104 month of today, dude. That's insane, man. Thank you very, very much. Bonito, Stratmat, Das Hegelman, thank you for the resubs as well. Any discount for 77 months? Uh, you'll have to take that up with Twitch. I think based on recent, recent news from Twitch, the answer is no. <laughs> Great farmer, thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, right, I would quite like to check there, but I don't think we're going to find the mag. I think we've got to go to Tissy. I think that's what we're going to do. Lewis, uh, I did say a few days ago that I might not be live or I might be late, but I uh, I cancelled what I was meant to be doing. The way I've been playing the last few days, Layer of Death, they'll be desperately queuing up to fight me. I play at 1440 shrink. Scooter, I like the new update. I think it's a really positive thing. Oh, God. I, 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 wish, I wish one day she'd text me. She never... Like, it's really cool she's texting me. Uh, Maggie doesn't text me enough, and I'm glad when she does, but... It, it's always... <laughs> I guess I stream a lot. It's my fault. It, it, she she wants to get some party uh, poppers, not poppers. Uh, those things that you blow down, that sort of like stretch out, like those things you get at kids' parties. She wants some of those, solely so so she can blow them in a a, a sister's face on on her birthday. That's it. She wants to wake her up probably on her birthday. <laughs> do we know when we can expect the big reveal from the devs? We do not, unfortunately. Are they adding quests in the game with a future update? Uh, I doubt it, Pixie. Uh, I I think the idea of a quest in DayZ language is stuff that they've already added. There may be more of that, like like needing to collect all the NBC loot and a gas mask and a filter to go to the gas zones to get an SVD, you know. That's the kind of thing that's already in the game. I don't see them going much beyond that. Do you use that stinky adapter on the 4090? Uh, amigo, I uh, I didn't install my 4090. It was uh, it was built for me by PC specialists who know what they're doing. So they did it. Exclamation PC to check out what they do. They don't fight too much at ten and three. Yeah, the three-year-old's too young for fighting. That's why. That, that's why. Mine, mine, do, mine do argue all the time. They're well, the bigger one's fifteen on Sunday, and the smaller one's twelve, so they're close enough to be at each other's throats, throats like half the time. Not physical fighting, but they're forever bickering all the time. Maddox, I've had the PC 14, 15 months. The jittering has happened since yesterday. I don't think it's the people that built it, you prick. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> By the way, that was said in jest. It was a harmful enough comment. I wasn't. I wasn't being serious. I was joking. Right, I don't really want to loot this. I'm just going to quickly see if there's any dead zombums. There has to be players somewhere, right? Maybe I should loot it. It doesn't take very long to loot. Maybe I should loot it. Anda, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the gifted subbing, dude. Oh, they've, they've put meds in here then, maybe. That I don't think this used to spawn meds, but that seems to be what it does now. Anda Chavez, thank you very much for the gifted sub uh, bomb. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I'm not even going to go to that one. Do you know, maybe I should. Maybe I should, because it will give me a chance for PvP, perhaps. Kind of that way, wasn't it? It's, it's not that far, that one. It does feel horrible, actually. I'm really struggling with it, and it's not—it's not affecting my gameplay really. I don't think it's the patch because otherwise I'd have experienced it more. Now, one thing today: there's not been any bad weather. I don't think it's rained at all, and it's been doing a lot of rain in the last few days. And so today it's sunnier, and for some reason maybe the sun is affecting it. But like, I sometimes get frame jitters like this when it's dusk and dawn. And that's the game. The game just does it. But it feels like that, but always. Aberensis, I know. It's, it's crazy. But it's just the way it goes. We'll get to this heli and there'll be a squad there, you know. There's a load of people in this server. I'm, I can only imagine they're all struggling nearer the coast. Or they're, uh, they're in fairly big groups, you know. We'll probably end up bumping into a group. There is a potential convoy spawn over this way. We could check as well. Well, there's the heli. Exhib, yeah. Well, the stream crashed because I updated the NVIDIA drivers to try and fix the stuttering. So, yeah, it was happening before the crash. And, uh, dude, thank you for the bits as well. Double dipping with the tipping. Thank you. We're all in a cargo container, wait, patiently waiting for me to open the door. I think that was a good strat on his behalf. I think the dude had got a broken leg from a mine. So he went into that building so he could be near enough to his buddy so that if he heard me loot, he could come out and pop me, you know, so... That was that strat was good in as far as he could cover his mate's body with his busted leg. 
Uh, and I think he also had a FAMAS. I think he killed me with a really good CQB weapon, which, like, m minces you in seconds, right? So, GG to him, you know? Like, broken leg and he chooses to stay and defend rather than... I, I'm presuming he had a broken leg, but uh, it doesn't take much to work out, I think. Do I know how to find the L96AWM? I don't play on servers that have that gun, dude. I've never seen one in the entire time I've been playing DayZ. That kind of AWM is, is only in... In fact, I've played on Aftermath and had an AWM once, I think, but... That kind of gun is only on the really, really heavily modded servers that I don't drift into. Ander, dude, thank you for the gifted subs again, man. Thank you very much. Sangin Instruments. I've never seen a Sangin Instruments watch, to be honest, dude. They're not a brand I'm familiar with. I'm pretty good on, like, out there brands, but that, they're not one I've heard of, to be honest. Uh, not heard of them at all. That doesn't mean they're good or bad, though. I, 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 there's plenty of things I've not heard of. Does day one have the uh, day one Livonia? Yeah, I think you might be right. I think you can build it on there, can't you? Like, I, I think day one Livonia has one gun that you have to find the parts for and build. But maybe it's that. I don't know. I just saw the edge of a message talking about day one Livonia. I think that might be the case, possibly. But day one Livonia gets full, but it's normally getting full around now. You know, it gets full in the evening, so. I, I don't often get to go on that one because when I start my stream, it's never full. Uh, I've heard of Bulova. Yeah, of course I have. Neckbeard, yeah, it's a really good strat shooting a gold top, I would say. <laughs> Maybe this one's going to be better. Oh, the box, some more bullets. And then a great big load of old shite. Why would an M4 carry handle spawn? Uh, why? Why is an M4 carry handle spawning anywhere? Especially helicopter crash sites. It doesn't make any sense. You can't even get the M4 except for at Riffy Boat. Why? 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 <laughs> Why you do this? <laughs> it's cruel. I work in the largest pu watch publication in the world. Uh, Cosman, what what is that? I, I don't know which is the wit. I don't I don't check who's the biggest and who's not with regards to watch publications. Which one is that? Is it Hadinki? I don't even know which is the largest watch publication. Edinki, oh. Kind of selling out lately, haven't they? Ditka, thank you very much. £6,000 travel clock and all that, right? <laughs> or $6,000. That heli crash was terrible. God.
Not one mag for the... Uh... That's crazy. Look at that. They're, they've been busy, haven't they? Look at all the shit they've carried. You know what? Let's, let's get rid of that. So I've dropped the guns on the ground. It might be cruel, but while they're in there like that, I'm not convinced they'll respawn. So now they're on the floor. Other players have still got eight hours to come and get them, but after that, they'll start going back into the loot economy again, which I think is probably smart enough, you know. It's not a base. I don't like, like taking people's loot out of bases and, like, despawning it. But that's just a random parked car, which seems a bit, kind of like, less of a big deal. One thing I know I can't do now, I can't uh, put that UMP away just yet. starting to be a pain in the bum. Carrying Vicky is getting on my nerves. That was an artillery strike. It wasn't a helicopter crash site. May as well get these so that they're shootable. That's worn. Pristine. Is it considered an SMG? I, I'm not sure. I think it's kind of teetering on a AR territory. A compact firearm. I, I think it's kind of in the assault. Sorry, in the SMG class as such. It, it's the same size as a UMP. So I guess whether it's classed as one or not, it takes up that space. So in the game, it's in the AKS-74U, UMP, MP5 kind of category, isn't it? Just got just on space alone, it has to be. The only difference is it's got bullets and mags that are almost impossible to find. <laughs> I think that's something that's reasonable feedback, you know. Like, this gun is not that high of a tier of a gun, I, I guess. You need to be able to find the bullets and the mags. A bit more common. The bullets are not common enough, I don't think. What do I think of the new recoil? I haven't actually played with it, actually. Let's have a... Is a bit higher. GG's from one old man to another. Keep up the greatness. Is a little bit higher. My shadow looks like Darth Vader. Yeah, the shape of that helmet. I can see that. It doesn't take a pistol suppressor. No, it's it's bottle suppressor only. Source for that is Wobo.
Gank, thank you very much for the support. Andrew Chavez, thank you for the gifted subs again, dude. Holy shit, man. Thank you. Uh, two years and I don't think I've seen you run once. Yeah. Jog a lot. Chisel, thank you very much for the prime. I think you could always hit double click to do that, D-Bear. Obviously, if it's in a bag, that's the big difference, but... Uh, it's not as big of a change. It's it's kind of useful, don't get me wrong, but it's not as big of a deal. It's it's handy if you've grabbed somebody's bag after killing them and then want to just jog away and drop it in your inventory as you go. It is pretty handy. I didn't even take the 30 round mags, did I? No, well, let's just let's just do the right thing. I've got a 40 rounder. I've got four 30 rounders for the baby AK. Sorry, for the big AK. I don't think I need to uh, do anything else. Scooter, I'd imagine he's just got going though, dude. <laughs> I think that's all. You know, like any streamer that starts has no viewers until they get going. Blimey, it must be cold today. I haven't had to had to put the air on all day. Like, in this room, it's only about 8 foot by 8 foot, with the door closed and the PC running. It gets hot enough to need the air blowing a little bit most days. It hasn't done today. D-Bear, I'm thinking about, uh, thinking about it going on your hand. I, I've not really... I'm, I'm so into... I'm so used to doing it the way I did. If it was something that was already pre-prescribed in your inventory, Pretty like cool. a pistol or something, then yes, you could. Because it had that reverse reserved slot in your backpack. I'm pretty sure you could. So, like, most things that you keep in your hand for any length of time are like, uh, I don't know, a UMP or whatever. Like, when you take it out of your inventory, it's still occupied there. You, you've always been able to do that. I don't know about random items. I'm pretty sure you could do this if you wanted, even before. Do I like the design of the new weapon? It sounds good. It sounds really good. It, it looks very uh, similar to, like, the VSS sort of on the back there, doesn't it? You know, I don't know. Until we've had a play with it, it's going to be rather hard to tell. What the fuck is he doing up there? Do I game with the lights on or off? On. I have a blackout blind behind me that stays closed all the time. So I have a uh, artificial light on. But I have like the main light in the in the room on. I, you, you, it's really bad for your eyes if you don't have uh, if you don't have a well lit room, isn't it? So I tend to go with that. I still want to go to uh, want to go to Tissy, but I'm late. Been sidetracked by helicopter crash sites has not helped my cause. Writers are working up an ending. Hmm. It's not going to be better than an S valve, lad, as because it's it's not suppressed. So there's there's just no way it's going to be better.
Oh god. I'm not very good with it. Or any other gun for that matter. There we go, that's better. And bleeding bridges. It does sound good, but beyond that, no. Did someone order some taters? <laughs> it's definitely not the new weapon. I was hip firing it. <laughs> I, I even I can't I, even I can't get away with that one, and I'll try normally. That's different. You see the way I just unloaded that mag? That is different. That I'll give you. So you can, like, double click that and put it in your inventory. That is different. That is good. Could I be too far away to cause that zombie to spawn in? Well, that's definitely a long shot because that hit him in the leg. Wait, it took a while to die, didn't he? Once he stops. <laughs> Fucking hell, a tundra doesn't kill a zombie from that range. I know it's 600 meters, but that gives you an idea. That hit him in the chest, I'm pretty certain. That gives you an idea of the damage drop-off with this gun. That's insane. With any gun, really, but... Yeah, that, I haven't played with that. That is kind of nice, actually. The uh, the ability to just, like, drop things off a gun and put them in your inventory. So you could even, you can, like, ship things off the gun and take them all out. That is good, isn't it? Where do we have the AK mag? I, I found it in the back of a car. It fell off the back of a Humvee. And you double click the mag in the inventory and it will go in the gun. No, it goes in your hand. Uh, uh, what was I doing? I was doing something, yet yeah, fixing. Fixing up. Fixing up to look sharp. I'm not going to do it. I can try it in my unloaded gun in a minute, but I, don't, I think it will still go in your hands.
Right, guys, I've not got very long left. I, I think I'm going to just kind of blitz it towards Tissy and see. I'm really surprised that we've not bumped into anyone. It, um, I, I doubt the server's getting lower in pop based on the time of day. It's still kind of prime time. I'd, I'd be very surprised if it's getting down. It's actually slightly higher still. It's, it's even closer to full pop than it was. Danger, I, d I just did that. It, d it just puts the mag in your hands, dude. Exactly, Eberensis. I couldn't have tried any harder to try and attract some dudes my way, could I? I've literally been... I fired about 30 or 40 bullets out of an SKS, which is like the second loudest gun in the game now. Nim, the Humvee didn't have the, the all spark. Didn't have the glow plug. I could try a cuter shirt. I can't because this shirt matches my uh, helmet. And hang hair dangling off my fucking glasses. You were talking about Chinese takeaway earlier, so I went and got one. Oh. That wasn't a glow plug, that was a spark plug. So, no, there wasn't. If you were a tree in Daisy, uh, which one would you be? 500 words or more? Fuck that. If I were a tree in Daisy, I think I would be one of the big ones because I like big ones big ones are really nice I'm a big one god almighty yeah take away we don't get a take out we get a take away because we speak English <laughs> My wife claims that I'm cheap, but I'm not buying it. Six months and here's to many more. Keep up the great work, my dude. Josh, thank you very much. I don't blame you. Stick to your guns. No buying it. Uh, Jones, thank you for the 13 months. And, uh, dude, thank you for the bits again. Dude, steady on, man. Thank you for the support. You're crazy. Thank you. Kessel, cheers for the new sub. Uh, Josh, thank you again. Yo, Mush, thank you for the bits. Yo, Mush. From a mush in Shepherd's Bush. Definitely not been watching too much of old TV, have I? I don't think it really matters. By the way, I don't care whether it's takeaway or takeout. I don't mind. The only one that gets my goat at all that's maybe a slight Americanism. Sorry, don't take this personally if you're from America. It's just one that winds me up. There's plenty of things I say that wind people up. Like, like people are literally telling me left and right that I shouldn't say vitamins, for example. But the one that gets me is when you go to a coffee shop and and you ask for a coffee and you go, yeah, can I get a mocha latte? Obviously, that's a terrible accent, right? But I, it's the can I get her that winds me up because you don't get it, they do. You, 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 you don't get it. Please may I have, could I have her? That, I, I can't help it. I, I know it's a silly thing and who cares? It's just the way people speak, but... I see, I hear, like my kids say it sometimes, and it winds me the fuck Don't up. Don't ever feel the need to speak simplified English. It, 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 winds me the, uh, it winds me the fuck up, and it shouldn't do. But it makes my skin crawl when I hear English people in a restaurant next to me going, Yeah, can I get, uh, can I get two coffees to go? <laughs> it just winds me up. It's pedantic, bro. McFly, I live a life of pedantry, dude. Literally anything I say, somebody pulls me up on it all day, every day. You've got to allow me one, dude. And if you don't allow me one, then fuck ya!
How do I say Barcelona? Like an English person. I don't say it like I'm from Barcelona. person behind the counter says what can I get for you well I've never heard that phrase ever but they are the ones that get it that's exactly my point they get it for you you don't get it they get it for you you have it they get it if I was a barista and someone said came in and said yeah can I have a can I have a skinny latte please I'd just pull up that little divider thing you know that I'd pull up the bar thing and go yeah sure come in you make it if you can put a little heart in the top in the froth you can have it for nothing yeah, you come and get it, mate. Here you go. Have at it. <laughs> I love that. Oh, grumpy old man. Not really. Dude, there, there was somebody picking holes in what I said earlier, and what I said was true. Uh, literally every day. I could say this bush is uh, kind of a, a beigey, beigey colour. They're leaves, they are. I could say, look, they're leaves. And someone would go, I think you'll find they're not leaves. They're actually uh, leafus horribilis. <laughs> like, my life is spent in that way. Like, literally, in the real world, when I say something, I expect somebody to come from over my shoulder and tell me what I said was wrong. Monol monologalus. It's nice to say. Monologalus. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Exactly like that, Aberinsis. England and America are two countries separated by the same language. Interesting. <laughs> What's tug? I really love what I do, Tucker, but it was pretty hard to get it to the point where it is now. I really love what I do now. But it's uh, it, it doesn't start out that way, you know? Hydration and food is really on my side, isn't it? Let's have another can of pop I don't need. <sighs> you know what I like about TRMZ? I'll let you know when I figure it out. Fair enough. <laughs> I can't believe we've not I've not found any mags for, for Vicky yet. I did just waste some bullets as well. I've only got 13 bullets left for Vicky too. I should probably not have shot her. Johnson, thank you for the gifted sub. That's really kind, dude. Cheers. I think you got one earlier, so thank you for paying it all forward if that's the case. My memory's not always great, but dude, thank you. That's very kind. Cheers for the support, dude. Let's have a quick check. We might get ourselves a box of uh, a, a box of yellow uh, 308s for the Tundra. And I don't need them, but if they're sitting here, like, waiting to be picked up, we might as well pick them up, mightn't we? Okay. 
fucking hell that that was uh, like someone was banging out a tune on a xylophone that do -do 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 -do. Xylophone, Obomabo. Ah, saxophone. Set the fireworks off. I can't. I haven't got any matches. Which tier is the vicar? Uh, the vicar likes more more tea. More, more tier vicar. More tier vicar. Sorry. Uh, I found it uh, at the airfield and I also found it wherever I found it the first time. West Evac. No. Like Mishkino. Yeah. So the gun itself I found in tier 3 millizones. Mishkino and the airfield. I'm guessing the 30 round mag is only tier 4 military zones. So uh, the guy I was running with found a mag at West Evac military base or Tricrest as most people call it. He found one there the other day, so I'm going to Tissy because that's where the tier 4 loot is and hopefully we get one. Don't you have a lighter? No, that was the last life I think. No loiter is for me. I've watched your streams uh I've watched you for years on YouTube. Just switched to Twitch. Thank you for your streams. Dude, thank you for coming in. To Johnson, cheers for the bits. By the way, if I should be saying J.I. or something, let me know and I'll probably forget. But I quite like saying to Johnson. Does the hand drill work with fireworks? Yep, it sure does. It's fizzy, not pop. Oh, no. It's called pop if you're from sort of Midlands or maybe the north and you're of a certain age. I've, we don't really call it pop down here. We don't really have a name for it in general anymore. Like it's it's like Dr Pepper or Coke or Sprite or whatever. You, it's all about the brands nowadays. Like the word pop is falling out of favour. We don't use the word soda so much because that's a that's more of a like soda is more like soda water. Like I know uh, soda is more of a generalistic word from America land. I use soda, but then I. Despite the fact that I just had a rant about saying, yeah, can I get a... I, I actually use Americanisms quite a lot because I stream. I do it on purpose, you know. Soft drink. Yeah. I didn't know you could die to fireworks. Redline likes hard drinks. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Onyx, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Feels like yesterday we first met. We first met eyes. <laughs> That is per the fresh spawns. Ooh. Gravy shared with me a cool short that the fresh spawns had made I, like this morning, which was kind of nice. I might try and do it at some point, but they were they they made a video kind of showing that if you carry a bike a, a motorbike helmet in your hand, you can uh, hold it up against a window and make it look like someone's leaning out, and then they might shoot you. <laughs> so if you want to see if it's safe or not, I thought that was kind of neat. It, it's actually really hard to do in real terms. In real terms, I think it's incredibly unli unlikely to ever be a thing you can use. But it was cool. It was nice. The idea that you'd you'd find yourself in the perfect position to do that is actually quite small. But For how long will I stream? Well, about about now or even ten minutes ago is my end time. So I'm, I've not got crazily long to go. Have a, we're, we're just approaching approaching Tissy military base. So. We'll see how it goes. Killers, there's less 9x39 on experimental, I'm finding, but that might just be because everyone's picking it up. I don't know.
think if the convoy was here, I'd see it, and it's not there, so let's carry on. What is binding you to Daisy? The money. Why do you like it? The money. How how you like it? Money. I, obviously, I'm not being serious. I'm just playing to a stereotype. What binds me to Daisy? It is my favourite game of all time, but it's the randomness, isn't it? You know, the randomness. Like earlier today. Now, to be fair, I've done it once before, but the things that you, you can do in the game are unlike any other. You know, you, like over the course of a week, you'll have something happen that's never happened before over and over and over again. Uh, the randomness of the little minutiae of every encounter and the weird and wonderful things that can come with it. So today, for the second time ever, I was at the prison island and I set someone up for it, but we were on the roof and I was sort of talking about how you could jump from the roof and if you if you got the line right, you would hit the sea and you live. And it, how cool it is or whatever. I was kind of like talking about how you could do it. I was like, oh really? I, I, I might give it a try once we've looted the rest of the base. And then when we went back and I, I was like, yeah, I sort of showed him the angle to do it and whatnot. And then if you check the last, the, the exclamation last kill feed, you, you'll see his attempt. <laughs> like little things like that. That's what keeps me coming back to Daisy. That You can't do that kind of thing in most games. Can you imagine Call of Duty, but you can talk them into dying? You know? Can you imagine that? That just doesn't, there aren't many games where you can like use your microphone to get somebody to kill themselves. I know there are others now, but Scum is basically a, a game that came after Daisy, right? Like, but Scum is a a game that's inspired by games like Daisy, isn't it? You know, but there there are a few now, but Daisy's one of the first. And there's an awful lot more you can do. And I, I think games like Daisy, well, maybe Daisy more than most. There's actually that chance. There's quite a lot of games where there's less interaction, and it's a bit more like. Take Rust, for example. Like, I've never played Rust, but I think it's common knowledge that Rust is a little bit more toxic. And you, when you're meeting other players, it's less likely to be interactive. I told a man he could use a sharpened stick to get water out of the ground like a well. <laughs> Phoenix, Woody, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the, the resub, Woody, thank you. I, f I feel like Daisy is doing a pretty good job of ticking things in along now, dude. I, I think Epoch Graham I'm, I'm talking to here. I, I don't know how you quantify whether it's fulfilled its potential or not. I, I certainly think it's going in the right direction still, and I'm glad it is. I, I definitely think it's better now than I expected it to be. When, when it launched at 1.0, 2018, back into 2018, I never thought we'd still be playing a game that was getting updated five, six years later. I really didn't. I thought it would be dead by now. I thought I'd be back in retail, to be honest. Need I need a mag for Vicky, please. I, I don't know how much money they've made on it on console, dude. And you, you may well be right, and they may have made an absolute fortune, but I have no idea. I, I don't think they list their P&L, you know, they're privately owned, so how much they sell versus how much they make, God only knows, but I know that the console companies are certainly going to get their share, aren't they? I have no idea what the profit is on a... 
game sale on PlayStation or something. Almost getting fucking PTSD coming into this building after the uh, the guys hiding up here on that yesterday. Not yesterday, it was on Monday, wasn't it? Kelly, if streaming hadn't worked out, I'd still be playing DayZ. Nowhere near as much, obviously. Nobody nobody plays DayZ 40 hours a week if they... It, Nobody plays Daisy like it's their job unless it is, but I'd still be playing Daisy. Yeah, it is my favourite game of all time. If streaming hadn't worked out, I'd still be making videos, but it's just that nobody would be watching them, I guess, you know? I'd just play a lot less, once or twice a week, or maybe even once or twice every two weeks. Like, like whatever, you know? Like... I don't think they canned the AI re e -write, rewrite, Graham. They just postponed it, which is maybe the same thing. But I think they've got their reasons. There's clearly an announcement coming. I, I think it was a priorities thing with uh, the future in mind, if I'm honest, dude. I, I really do. But the AI does need improving. But I wonder if there's uh, reasons why they've decided to leave it. I think we might find out in the coming months. Maybe there isn't reasons. Maybe the the announcement's going to be a DLC or something. Who knows? But bots haven't been filling servers forever, dude. I, I, I'm not aware of any bots filling servers. Hey, Dub. There are some servers on the community tab that might spoof their play account to make them feel higher than they are. But the server I'm on right now is definitely not doing that. There are some servers that get. Let that spoof the player count to try and make people join it and then they like show us 120 players and there's nobody in it except you don't be in that headquarters doesn't mean that someone's left it in there but It's so quiet. It's so quiet. It's insane. This doesn't even look looted down there. Oh, that one does. The one on the right might not be. Oh, no, maybe not. There's a door closed there. Bentley, I do have freedom in what I play. I don't, I, of course, if I went and played, I don't know, uh, a racing game, my channel would die. Don't get me wrong. But I could go and play another game for a week. I, I completed The Last of Us on stream last, last year. And that went well. It was fine. I can play other games. If I wanted to play, play through a single player story game or something, I absolutely could do it. And I would get some new followers with it as well. My, my viewership would be lower, but it would only be a very temporary thing. So... I can definitely play other games, and if I did that more, it would probably help my channel, not hinder it in the long run, but the reality is, whatever streamer you are, you need to be true to yourself, and the, the, the honest truth is that I don't want to play any other games. I really wanted to play The Last of Us through, and I did, but I, I, don't, uh, I don't get that hankering for many games at all, I really don't. Because there aren't many games that fulfil this niche, you know, like, and there isn't another one that fulfils this niche as good as DayZ does for me, which is more to do with storied survival and the random adventure of what happens when you can meet other players, you know, like, no other game provides a vehicle for that as well as DayZ does for me personally. 
And until something does, then there's no need for me to be worried, you know. Dead Side definitely doesn't do that, Cloido. Dead Side's a fun game, but it, it's not it's not anywhere near as immersive or <coughs> storied as Daisy. Daisy. Excuse me. <coughs> Dead Side's a really fun looter shooter. I do like Dead Side. I do think Dead Side's a fun game, but it, it doesn't fulfil that need in any way. For me personally, it might do for you though, that's okay. This is an official map, yeah. It might not be an official server though. There are experimental servers in the community tab and the uh, official. And I've been playing on both this week. But they're all vanilla. Nobody's looted here. At least I don't think they have. Oh shit. We've got a mag for Vicky. Now now we need to try and get a kill with it. That's the thing. We need to try and get a kill with that. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at the animation. Straightforward. Isn't it? So this is a nine by thirty-nine. Uh, ooh. Nine by thirty-nine with no suppressor. It only takes a bottle suppressor. be a good idea to get the black stock for the AK. No, it's not. The black stock is worse. The black stock has got the highest recoil of all of the butt stocks, but it's got the most long range accuracy. I, I don't need long range accuracy with the AK. I'm ejecting these rounds because I want to see what's... Oh, blimey. We've got quite a few now. I want to make sure we've got nothing but... Uh, AP rounds. And I don't think the AP rounds make a great deal of difference, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't use them. I might as well. Takes AK scopes, Brock, so the same ones, PSO1 and such like, you know, they takes all the same scopes as the AK does, or the VSS, SVD, those scopes.
even that, where we just were, that was dropped. The gun and the two mags were dropped by players, but it could have been absolutely fucking ages ago. Imagine somebody steps on the mine and gets really injured and then comes into this room and dies. How, how, how that would be kind of fun. I would like, I don't really like the uh, the kind of AK red dot, whatever it's called. But I would quite like an AK red dot right about now. Cobra sight, I think it's called. The Cobra Octic. I'd quite like one of those. Zombies do trigger mines, but they don't open doors, so it won't be triggering that mine. It's okay. I don't know why, but it's nothing really like it. But for some reason, it just kind of feel, it reminds me a little bit of the rack. It doesn't really look that much like it. I guess it's grey and it's a bit smaller, but beyond that, it's not really very similar. A little bit flat at the end, but not really. Terminator, how you doing? No need to be sorry. There's no, uh, there's no requirement to turn up. There should be, but there isn't. understand why it's so quiet. It's crazy. Oh, we got matching pants. This is cool. I've been wanting to try and get this for a while. It's, that's That might be my new favourite outfit just because of the helmet. I think it looks good.
Yeah, there is a camo plate carrier that kind of matches it as well. I had one yesterday. Finding anyone. But I couldn't even see the reticle on that scope looking through that way. There's more drop loot here. My god, there's a lot. Don't need any of that. Anything else? Taking the FNX would be sensible. It would save me space over the UMP. I'm going to do that, just to save some space. You can put suppressors just onto guns as well, like I just did there. I don't think that ever worked before. Just drag the suppressor straight onto the gun and then it goes. <sighs> the I haven't got the pistol holster some more anymore. I should have kept it and just put it on the vest, but... It's not a stash, it's just where somebody died. This is their gun from, from like, well, one of the guns, but someone got killed very close to there and that's just where the, the loot was left dumped. The loot they didn't want. Scuffs. Uh, I wouldn't play a modded server, even if it's possible, on Experimental. Experimental is always vanilla, it's certainly when I'm playing it. Experimental is so the devs can test the experimental patch. My accuracy's gone up. I ran out of breath. <laughs> I'm glad I swapped. I couldn't get it on the zombie's head when it finally stood still. I just couldn't do it. I ran out of breath. So that should just go on, but I think that would have done anyway. There are too many mines. There are too many mines. And I'm planting them all as well. And that that's just becoming part of the problem. But look at me doing it anyway. Make any clicking. Where'd the other... Oh, there it is. Right. I'm not going to loot the headquarters building. It's normally a sure way to aggro the Zeds. I don't want to do that. I'm going to have a quick look at the tents. I may not loot the tents, but I'm going to look to see if there's players. I really desperately want to use this gun. Duffster, I think that's just being humane, to be honest. Three. I don't need any more 308 and I don't need any more DMR mags. An AS fell there. I, in theory, I should take that. 
I absolutely should take the AS Val because it's better than the Vicky, but the Vicky's new, so we've got to use that. Uh, I, I presume that question was when I stream again after the kids will I play the same character I think that I only caught saw the end of the question the last line but I'm not sure what I'll do Sunday it depends on the player pop but if, if experimental's got a good player pop then I'm not dead I'll carry this on on Sunday yeah I want to get a kill with this this gun I actually don't think Tissy is the best place. That's a very high... Blimey. Oh no, they're all that quick. It just seemed incredibly quick, but it, it's the same speed as they all are. That's weird. Still early tonight. Uh, not really, dude. I've been on... I've been on eight hours. That doesn't feel early to me. Funky, yeah, if they're side by side and they both explode, that would kill him, yeah, or them. I should overwatch, but if I overwatch, I ain't getting a kill with the with the new gun. I'll have a quick quick look. Can't find the fucking gun. No, it's, it's on the vest. a bit better. Based on how many mines we've been finding, you have to think there's going to be mines here, don't you? I think I've got to be careful. These, these tents are going to be full of fucking mines. So we've seen a VSS and AS Val. I've still not seen the uh, the 30 round mag for this gun yet. I really would have thought we'd have found one, to be honest. We've done an awful lot of looting. You think it's slightly faster? It seems very quick. But yeah. So Gorky, I think it's a big deal. I think it makes the AS Val and VSS really, really good. Oh, somebody's been. Isn't it crazy how Tissy is though, right? Isn't it crazy how Tissy is? I've just left those mines and I've been here all this time and nobody's been to them. So now we just need to know whether it's in the uh, 
camo building, I, I, I think it's much more likely to be in the L-shaped barrack. Purely because whoever's there has only just got there. Like, we know that I've, I've just been around there, right? So they must have been approaching just as I was leaving. They probably looted a couple of buildings and gone in there and kaboom. <clears throat> I think I left the camo door building closed. Sorry, open. So if the camera door's open, I suspect he's not in there. No, I, I planted one in, the, in that camo building as well on the ground floor. Have I ever reached zero stamina? You can't really. No matter how low your stamina gets, you can still run three paces and jog three paces. Like if you hold sprint down, you just run, jog, run, jog, run, jog. these sets. Doors open. How are the both mines gone? Seems incredibly high rate of fire. Oh no, he's only got one mine. Oh my god, it, it's got really high rate of fire. Holy shit. And maybe the AS Val and the VSS are the same, but because it's suppressed, you don't notice it. So this is where the uh, other mine is. Oh fucking hell, that went well. I should be hip firing, not ADSing. I hope he's got a cleaning kit, because I'd quite like to fix this up. I know I've got one slither, but that's no use. Oops. 
Now we may have some fucking company. The pistol went in the wrong bastard space. Gun sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah, I really wish they could do something with the, the pistol holsters and stuff. They, they're really broken. I, I wish I could do something about my shooting, to be honest, but all in good time, I guess. I really like that. I really like that you can double click the mag to take it out of your gun. That's really cool. It's only a small thing, but it is very, very cool. You can't double click to put it back in, but you can to take it out. See, it's done it again. De aggro, I think it de aggroed. And again, like, that's constantly causing me grief. Oh my god, he's got a fucking foul. I'm getting that. He has got a complete NBC kit, I think. No, he's got boots, hat, gloves. He hasn't got a complete kit, but he's fucking hell. He's clearly looking for one. He's not got ma not many twenty two, but we'll take the bits that he's got. I saw a. F Where did I see a foul mag? I saw a foul mag. Maybe he's already got it, but I saw one in uh, one of these barracks had a foul mag, didn't they? Right, that's enough. Bell mag with the dump loop by the shed. I thought it was a...
I thought it was a uh, DMR mag, but you may well be right. Oh, I'm really pleased. I know it wasn't the most skillful kill in the world, but it was quite nicely done in terms of like leaving the mine and then running back and uh, that was kind of cool. It just goes to show how close you can be to players like ships that pass in the night. The thing that was kind of cool about it, right? I, I, I don't know whether there's whether it's definitely always 100% right, but apparently the uh, the bushes are a little bit bulletproof right now. So I got there and he was an easy kill, but I waited because if I hadn't waited, he uh, he may well have been bulletproof in the bush. I had to wait. Wait for the bush to uh, wait for the bush to push. Bush push. The recoil is pretty low on the on the Vicky. Same as uh, same as an AS Val or VSS. It seems very low. Badly damaged LAM or LAR mag. did kind of shred him, I ain't going to lie. I may not fix this with both of them, I might save the other one. Dion's, if you've just bought the game, you should start on official servers. You may not need to start on... Uh, sorry, excuse me. You should start on vanilla servers, for sure. But you don't necessarily have to start on uh, official. You could play... If you're in Europe, or your ping's low enough, if you're in Eastern America, you could play on Spaggy servers, which are... Vanilla, so I, I'd certainly suggest you play on no modded servers just for a time while you get used to the game. You know, like it really give you an idea for what the game is and how it plays and such like. So definitely play vanilla at first, but you could play on the community tab in the Spaggy servers because they run a game, they, their game, their server is exactly the same as uh, vanilla, but you get a more protect, bit more protection from cheaters there because they, they'll ban cheaters straight away. Takes a bit longer in official. Official servers, they have to wait till somebody gets VAC banned or uh, banned, vi banned via battle eye. Whereas on community servers, they tend to get banned much more quickly. That's cool. I, I have to say, I, I really like the, uh, the, the new gun. I... It's not going to be the best gun in the world, but it really does shit bullets. And forgetting about the new gun for a second, either of the other guns, a, a VSS with a red dot or an AS Val with no sight at all, other way around, a VSS with no sight or an AS Val with a red dot is going to be a really viable secondary weapon. It's going to be really, really good. It'll be a useful tool to have. Like, you can realistically, with a 30-round mag, if you can find them, and that's the problem, I think, is the bullets as well. The bullets are a bit rare, but if you can find the bullets and the 30-round mag, then the, the, all of those three guns are actually Nathan viable as a secondary to go with whatever. GG on that kill. The new rifle is sick. Uh, thank you, Nathan. Cheers for the support. Cheers for the tip, dude. Almighty Truffles, thank you very much for the bits times two. He had two MK2s on his body. Oh, I got him in the end, but thanks for the heads up, dude. Uh... Uh, thanks for the heads up with the other one as well about where the mags were. I did get them. I, I get there in the end most of the time, but cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Is it a rifle or an SMG? It's probably a short rifle, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. In in the scheme of DayZ, because it's the same size as an SMG, you'd probably group it in with the SMGs, because strictly speaking, an AKS-74U isn't really an SMG, I don't think, but... Nonetheless, you can't, you'd group it in with the MP5 and the UMP and the AKS because it's the same size.
Bagels, I, I drank about 15 cans of drink at the airfield, didn't I? So I haven't had anything to eat since then. TRMZ love. Guys, I've gone way over time. I've gone way over time desperately finding mags for Vicky. And then uh, I was about to log off when we were at the tents. And when he stood on that, I had to go and invest him again. <laughs> I had My to go and have a look. My has arrived from PC Specialist and it is a beast. Thanks for the promo code. Keep on running. Uh, that's me, dude. Uh, Pete, thank you very much for the support. Hope you enjoy the, enjoy the tech. New tech day is amazing, dude. Thank you very much, Pete. Caleb, thank you. Almighty Truffles. Nathan, thanks a lot for the support, all of you guys. No worries, Paul. Keep on running. Thank you. Uh, guys, that's it from me. I will be back on Sunday, all being well. Uh, other than that, have a great rest of the week, guys. Go and check out another streamer. I'll be back again Sunday. Have a good one. Take it easy. Love you. Bye.